Hello everyone! Welcome back. We're talking about things and stuff. Stuff and things. Uh, not entirely sure. We were talking about fish earlier. Uh, but also, yeah. something on the agenda is uh, chromosome tube. We'll probably get to that eventually. Uh, and we have Mel and Nestlig and Peter just joined us. Hello all. Hello, hello. Hello. Fantastic. Uh, Peter, how you doing? Hi all. I'm doing fine. <laughs> well, that that is good. It's good. Woo! Yeah, we were just we where where I live in Holland, we have a saying in our dialect, and that says, uh, uh, "Bad people always do well." So, you know, <laughs> I guess you, know, you, I know, guess, you, do, you don't say Holland. You say you say the, the Netherlands. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, since I'm from the east, <laughs> since I'm from the east, I should say the Netherlands because Holland is the part of the Netherlands that we don't actually get along with. <laughs> but yeah, you're, you're you're correct. Yeah, east to west. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we were we were just talking about fish for everyone who uh, doesn't know. We were talking about uh, seahorses first, and. Uh, Nestle just provided a very interesting paper. I'll uh, link it in the description after this. Uh, we we're also talking about eels. Eels are weird ah. guys. And, yeah. and, popul and popular where I live. I I, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we eat them a lot, actually. We are like a very fish eating country. Uh, do, 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 do I. Do I sense something that you might be getting to uh, Hadewijk to get your eels? Wait, sorry? I said, do I get the notion that you might be going to Hadewijk to get your eels? Uh, uh, Hadewijk? Um, I, I'm familiar with the, the place, so sorry. Well, that makes one of us. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid. Yeah, I uh, don't get my eels anywhere because I don't where, eat eels. Uh, <laughs> where, where are you from, Nestle? I am from North Brabant. Ah, uh, see? Uh, I'm from uh, around Enschede. <laughs> so, sorry, I, 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 I even can't understand your accent, so I guess I say again. <laughs> I'm from around Enschede. Enschede, oh, okay. Oh, so, so but the, even within our own country, people speak different accents. Like in the yeah. in the south, in the south, we have like a soft G, and in the north, we have like a hard hard G. <laughs> I used I used to be able to do the southern accent because I spent a while in Tilburg. Mm -hmm. But I'm I'm not that good at it anymore. I do a southern I mean, accent. Yeah, but the Dutch mm -hmm. southern accent is a lot different from yours. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's really fun going to the UK and walking into like a bar in London or a pub in London, and they and they look at you and go, "I'm sorry, what did you say?" <laughs> going, <laughs> do, did did you do Cockney <laughs> rhyming slang? No, I, I was speaking just my regular voice, and so I. I tried to speak with a British accent to see if that would help, and that did. Mm. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I was curious if you tried Cockney rhyming slang because I need to hear that if you did. <laughs> I, I actually can understand the American accents more uh, better than the British because I, I learned my English mostly from watching movies without the subtitles. So. And of course, most movies are made using the American accent. Same here. Yeah. Hi, Paul. Hi, oh, wow. Paul. Paul has appeared. Hey, guys. Hey, Paul. <laughs> I heard the cool kids were hanging out, so I wanted to be there. You didn't bust through the wall here, though. No, I didn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> coming, coming from you, I take that as a huge compliment, Paul. <laughs> cool kids and Peter. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you're not coming to my dinner. Oh, damn, that was rats. 
<laughs> they were talking about eating eels earlier, so I don't oh, know. Man. Well, we were talking about the phylog the phylogenetics of eels first, and then we switched <laughs> to talking about eating eels. I don't eat eels. Think... There are certain things I don't eat. Oh, smoke, eels. smoke. Try, please try smoked eel. They are very nice. Although they are very oily, so you need to have a lot of uh, uh, paper towels. So <laughs> yeah, be I'm careful. Sure Kentoven uh, thinks that <laughs> that that would be a fully valid phylog phylogenetic tree. Was you know how they taste? I'm sure he would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't. Just, I wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> let's just group them how they taste. If you if you if you never had smoked eel, you haven't lived. I mean, really, and you and you eat it with your hands. Ah, see, Does I that don't know. Is that making a zombie? Or a Only leech? if you're an eel that eats other eels, and you're a zombie eel, then maybe. Well, I mean, because I haven't lived yet. Well, are, are the eels <laughs> polyphyletic? Uh, they have evolved multiple times. This uh, slender shape, or am I wrong in that? Uh, oh, what do you mean by by eel? I was yeah. just thinking of the group. Uh, the eel kind, obviously. The eel kind. We the got eel it. Kind. The eel kind. <laughs> oh, I mean, I mean, mer merway eels are not the same eels as the eels that we eat in, uh, like the uh, smoked eel. So, I don't know what kind I'm, of eels we eat for that are smoked eels. Merway. merway <laughs> uh, do you know the Disney movie, uh, The Little Mermaid? Never heard yes. of it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And the, the, and the, and the, and the eels, <laughs> the, the eels that the, the, the uh, sea witch has, those those kinds flotsam of merway eels. Flotsam and jetsam, right? Flotsam yeah. and jetsam. Is it flotsam well, and jetsam? Or when I say eels, jetsam? I'm referring to members of the clade elopomorpha. Okay. The eel kind. The eel kind. Yes. The eel kind. <laughs> Let's see. There uh -huh. are. I th well, let's see. There are these guys called spiny eels that are not within the true eels so i guess you could say they're they're also let's see deep sea spiny eels there's this one eel called halosaurus that would that be like salt reptile or something halosaurus oh, oh, i i just look, i i just looked it up i just looked up the mer the murray eels are actually in the actual eel kind so <laughs> they yes. are actually eels yes i, I yeah. thought they were I thought that they were in a different clade, so but uh, the the ray, the ray finned fishes are very diverse. It's, it's very difficult to remember all the groups you had. I, I remember tetrapods in my in my own head, to like which tetrapods are closely related to others, but with ray finned fishes, they, they are all over the place, really. Yeah, it's I think it's really weird to wrap your head around the idea that we're more closely related to some fish. Then these fish are related to other fish. Yeah, that's really weird to think about, you know. But, but also, if you if you compare like the the ectonotrogians, like the ray-finned fish, with the cercoptrogians, like the the lobe-finned fish, which we are also part of, we are like very less diverse than compared to the other fishes. Well, look at arthropods. You know, there yeah. wasn't there a story of finding like 950 species of arthropods on a single tree in Panama, <laughs> or was oh, that wow. beetles? I think that was beetles. It's probably beetles. That seems a bit more um, yeah. plausible if it's beetles. You know. Yeah, beetles are diverse. Yes, they are. <laughs> so crunchy. Uh, oh goodness, I do not miss the days of having to organize beetles according to antennae, no antennae, spots on the shells, no spots, red, yellow, <laughs> black, black spots, yellow spots, in order with tiny tags with barcodes on the bottom pen. Yes. And God help you if you lost the tag. That is the best way to do it. <laughs> I, I remember having the tie tags. It was like if God, if, if intelligent design was true, then really the planet was designed for beetles. Was that one of your videos? No, but I've heard that quote before. I've heard that before. Uh, I don't think it was one of my videos. I don't know. I, I learned, forget. I learned everything from Jackson. Well, that's all I know. You what? <laughs> I learned everything from Jackson. Everything I know. Well, I, I learned a good deal of stuff from, from your videos also. Don't you know? I see. Well, then it's very then it's just circular argument. Whatever we're doing. So wait, <laughs> if I learn all my material from you and you learn your material from me, who's learning from who? <laughs> well, it's like who wrote the Bible. 
This is a Pause. closed system. I just talked about thermodynamics. Are we going to apply it to knowledge now? That's right. So. That's right. <laughs> knowledge can neither be Pause. created nor destroyed. Paul, <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I, I, have a, I have a question for you, Paul. First, we have to say hi to Shannon. It's yes. a well, oh, Shannon. Yeah, of course. Hi, Shannon. I, Hello, hi, Shannon. Shannon. Hi. <laughs> Hit me up Paul. if you need like tips on your new video. <laughs> oh, that's right. Shannon has to make a video now. I'm happy to help, though. Let me know, man. I'll help you out. Hi. We got it covered. We're all the most excited. And and I can do intros if you need one. <laughs> Maybe. What, um, sorry, what was your question, Peter? Uh, did, did you catch the latest uh, Answers News? I did. <laughs> Silly question. Are we, are, are we going to get Apologia video on all the sex that's going <laughs> to happen in Answers in Genesis? I mean... It is uh, disturbing to think about who's going to be massaging who at this conference. <laughs> yes, I am. No, that's, uh, not, that's not that's not at the conference. That's at the, at the Creation Museum. And oh yes. So, so I want to know first of all, is it public? <laughs> Are they going to make a live show out of it? I mean, I've got so many questions. I know. Well, I, I heard some debates about who's going to be massaging who, and like. You know, well, no, and then someone assured someone else that it would just be women massaging women and men massaging men. And I'm like, is that better? Is to be happening in the Creation Museum? We're doing like, you know, oh, same yeah. gender massaging. Paul, when I heard the first time I heard about that, I was sitting with Savannah and I just thought, that is so many lawsuits waiting to happen. So yeah, many. Oh Are they well, going to like I... try to go with the whole replication of what happened outside of the ark and why it flooded? Because apparently that was a pretty awesome party that's, so, a, that's a way better well, theme park if, <laughs> if, if land is what i want to see if that's an awesome party uh women uh can reserve tickets for a, a, a conference about pornography and sex and as georgia purdom put it in the video even within marriage and they can <laughs> reserve and they can reserve tickets uh on ken ham's personal blog why does Ken Ham want to know which women are attending the conference? So he, they can, the ladies can form an orderly queue right outside of his tent, you know, <laughs> for, for the revival that they're going to have, where there'll be lots of screaming, oh, God, but probably not by the women in Ken Ham's tent. Right. So <laughs> think. It's reasonably well known that in the priesthood that... Uh, you know, sometimes confession time is is more is more just excitement for the priest than good for the patron. Living vicariously is very exciting. Yes, yes. Well, we have we have someone someone from the south uh, of Holland in here as well. I learned a joke when I when I lived in the south, and that uh, the south is predominantly Catholic. So I was talking to a Catholic priest, and I, I asked him, "What's it like to?" take confession and he looked at me and he said well you hear stories that make your head go up and down and i said are you wearing a hat during confession he said no i have it in my lap but the hat gets higher anyway <laughs> oh god i need i didn't start uh, drinking early enough i need to go st <laughs> <laughs> no one told me how drunk i needed to be to be on this <laughs> Wait, are we all? Is that a thing? Was I supposed to be notified of being drunk on my own chat? <laughs> yeah, obviously. Have I been doing That's, this wrong the whole time? Everybody knows that I don't go on live streams unless I have a drink. God. <laughs> I think that's how I got stuck doing a video on whale sex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, that thanks, Paul. Thanks, that Paul. True. <laughs> thanks, thanks for that, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> that was New Year's Eve. I couldn't help it. <laughs> Goodness. And then Jackson teases me with his new one. I uh, now I'm just I can't wait. Keep checking. Oh, yes. Yeah, so yes. Nestle also knows, but uh, it it might be out tonight. We'll see. Uh, what can we'll top see. whale sex? What could top whale sex? Well, I mean, I didn't say it was oh, going to oh. top whale sex. I said <laughs> it'll be in the same spirit. No, no, spoil no spoilers. No spoilers. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. Fine. I mean, I'll wait anything, for everybody else. Can anything top multi-ton animals having sex? I mean, no, not really. That's, no. <laughs> that's why I wanted that video. You know, you know what's, 
you know what I came across when I, after I watched your video on real sex, I went looking for something more <laughs> to to uh, uh, research, and I saw that uh, like some so, some species of dolphins they have sex using their blowhole. <laughs> not not yes. not, ki not kidding, not kidding. <clears throat> I, it's Kinky. even it's even worse. They rape each other in the blowhole. Oh no! <laughs> but are they wearing fish nets while it's happening? Because no. that might be a whale thing. <laughs> oh my god! Fish net. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I mean, <laughs> oh, my, my, and there's fish. <laughs> my internet yeah, history following that video. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson is going to regret doing a live stream now. <laughs> hey, it's okay. That's our next... goal, isn't it? <laughs> or, I mean, I'm, I'm, regret. I'm not expecting. Let's see. It's been so long since I had a monetized video, or and well, before this and following this. So, what? what? Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, there is there is this slogan "sex sells," so it could be your most watched video over mm -hmm. time. You, you'll never know. I mean, I've done a few yeah. videos about sex cells, the gametes. Ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> wow. I thought yeah. mine was funnier than that, man. Fishnet. Yeah, I know. I'm with you. <laughs> All fantastic. Well, oh, well. Yeah. I did. I did my part. I, today, I retweeted uh, uh, the GOP representatives who uh, voted against a law that would outlaw uh, uh, raping animals. Wow, that's not already so, a law. <laughs> oh, we actually just—they just passed one in in Louisiana about no having sex with animals. It passed twenty-five to ten. What the actual? What? I mean, is that, is that the like, time of no. day? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Ten people evidently voted against what? this bill that says you can't have sex with animals. The question and is, what, who were and the one ten? Of the, and, and I, I tweeted the ten, and one of them was a woman. The, uh, well, it does, the sex doesn't seem to matter in this scenario. I think it's just that's just objectively ridiculous that anybody would be like, you know what? That seems fine to me. <laughs> Like, let's let's not legislate uh, this. Wow. Well, I, I you know, and I brought I actually brought that topic up at one point in time. It's like, can animals really consent to sex anyway? So you're basically raping animals. And then somebody said, yeah. Well, they don't consent to be killed to eat neither to be eaten either. And I'm like, this sounds like some kind of weird pay to argument where they want to <laughs> have sex with animals, but you can't <laughs> eat them. Yeah, go, go, and I'm go, like, go, go, am go. I, are you part of PETA or PETA or whatever? Are, are, like, are we going to add the, 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 the vegan argument there? Yeah, I, I, I'm just like, I'm all about consent. And to me, yeah. I do not think an animal can consent to have sex. But if you are killing them to eat them, that's not a lasting trauma. It's over. <laughs> if you rape an animal, that's probably a lasting trauma for that animal. They have PTSD. <laughs> they have to go to years of counseling. Yes, I mean, it's just, well, you know, I'm ethical. I believe in ethical slaughter, ethical stuff like that. Yeah. But it's you know, like you're gonna sit there and rape an animal. I'm like, that's just to me, that's torturous. So. No, I, I, uh, thanks to thanks to your uh, video on PETA, I did troll them once. Uh, I have not checked recently to see if they've blocked me, but uh, <laughs> oh, you, yeah, you, I, you have you have a cat around your neck, so. You are on their uh, shit list, so yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's yeah. my little Enzo. He like he likes being up there, so mm -hmm. yeah. he sits on my shoulder uh, when I'm at home because I sit up against my bed uh, doing these talks, and he's he'll be up there because uh, he's got basically cat asthma, oh, so he sounds like <sighs> oh. he breathes. Is great. Oh, how old is he? Uh seven mm, i was still still young yeah he's a Sweet he's a good baby. cat he's a pretty good cat pretty good it's probably a she because it's probably a she because it's uh spotted i think or is the uh, no no we, we we're pretty sure it's a male uh, <laughs> I, I, we I have our ways, ways. I, I thought only male cats or, or uh, female cats could have spots and stripes. Or am I wrong in that? Spots? Yeah. I, mm, I don't know about that. I, mm. 
I'm Are you thinking of calico cats? Like yes, pure yes. calico cats? Yeah, yes. oh, yeah, that's different. Yeah, yeah that's, different. Uh, right, that's right, right, yeah. I, 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 My mistake, my mistake. Yeah. That's okay. It's okay. <laughs> that's strike one. That's like... <laughs> How many strikes do you get? I didn't know there was a strike system. What He's do you need? losing like, points. It's like a grade. Oh. <laughs> no, I, I, I gained a point because I admit my mistake, unlike some people. All right, oh. fair. Fair. That is fair. Get, your, get it back here. It's zero again. <laughs> <laughs> back to zero. I need to know more about the point system. What do I have to do to, or, to get more points? What do you win? Do you win? Is there prizes? I want to know if there's prizes. I mean, you get one strike by getting over a thousand subscribers and having no videos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at like a thousand and forty. I'm going to have a video though. I'm doing one. <laughs> I have to. I'm. I'm like literally contractually obligated to do one at this point. <laughs> you can do it. You have people that care and will help exactly. you. Exactly. Right. You already know what your goal is. We had this conversation. That was like was that was the day before yesterday, right? Yeah. When I only had like 940 subscribers, and then I woke up in the morning and I had a thousand and ten. Yes. <laughs> no, we got Shannon covered. She's good. Jeez. Paul was up all night making sock accounts, subscribing to me like an asshole. <laughs> one, of his, one of his sock accounts he named Vice Rhino. Uh, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> He's not very clever. <laughs> the look on your face, though, when he told you his name was an anagram was priceless, though. That was legitimate shock. Legitimate. Like, I, I couldn't believe I was so stupid and I hadn't picked up on that because I've been trying to figure it out forever. Did and you it, know it was... ahead of time, Jackson? No. Oh, okay. I, Sorry, I never... No, I, I never question uh, names. I know people people come up with all kinds of crazy names. I was uh, I don't ever question it. I mean, I'm not very clever. I'm just like, hey, it's my name. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, I don't have anything, you know, really to worry about, I don't think. <laughs> as far as I know, cough, cough, cough. <laughs> oh, <laughs> jungle, jungle jargon is here. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Hello, everybody in the chat. Hello, all. Jungle jargon. Why does that name so? Oh, now I, I just. I had a I had a chat with <laughs> with him. Uh, you know, I'm an object credit giver, so I guess. <laughs> yeah. What does that mean? Oh, who cares? Uh, <laughs> Gosh. Oh, uh, let's see. I think I just saw Sai. Yeah, Sai's in here also. Yeah, Sai. I'm on this channel here in <laughs> about 20 minutes, so. <laughs> Jackson, I'd love to. Oh, that yes, that's right. Yeah, size. Uh, sorry, size doing stuff, fancy stuff. To Tony, stuff. Tony's here as well, Wait. and he's not. And he's not talking. I mean, that that has to be a first. What Tony? It's not Tony Reed. Doc Hackenslash. Oh, oh, that Tony. Yeah, that is weird. Why isn't he talking? He's always talking. He's, he's, he's oh, just, just, yeah, just, he, he, he must be lazy today. <laughs> Oh, so, so, someone else wants to let JJ into hangout. <laughs> uh, Jungle jargon. I don't. I don't know. Sure, uh, let's fight. Let's fight. Let's go. Bring him <laughs> in. <laughs> hey, I already had that fight. We, uh, <laughs> yeah, we, we would have to have to lengthen this hangout for a, by a couple of hours or so to get over one point to <laughs> to come across with him. Oh God. Oh yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh, about this chart, the. Uh... One of the really interesting things is that uh, the Bishers and Reedfish and the, uh, I think, Gars also, these guys, oh. have, they have lungs, yeah. interestingly, yes. which is really yes. cool. I was Tony, a Tony, just just made a, Tony just made a threat as well. He's going to be here in a couple of minutes. Okay, well, he's, he's uh, I mean, he knows what the link is, so if he wants to come in, he's free. Yeah, uh, about, about about the about the lungs, this is one of the things that uh, Darwin got back, kind of backwards because he wrote in the Origins of Species, I think, about how like, yeah. like swim bladders are homologous to our lungs, and our lungs might have been modified right. swim bladders. But it's the yeah. other way. It's the other way around because fish first started out with simple lungs, and most fish modified those into swim bladders, and in us. Of course, we retained our lungs. Right, which is why, yeah. like basal fish, don't like uh, sharks and or the chondrichthians don't have uh, yeah. some bladders. Yeah, yeah, and then primitive fish like uh, the the bony fish, the primitive bony fish ha do have lungs. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. I I like I like bichers. I think well, one day if I got a larger tank, I'd probably have one. Yeah. They're really pretty. Uh, do you got, does anybody watch like any fish channels on YouTube, like King of DIY? Fish channels? 
Yeah, like you know, people who keep fish tanks. Oh, okay. I thought maybe you just meant live streaming, streaming someone's fish tank. That's what I was thinking. Like lives. I mean, the there are actually. I do follow I one channel that just does like aquarium tanks. <laughs> it's really neat. Also, we have <gasps> Tony. Well, yeah, the, yo. I, I was. I was just going to say this short. This, no, I was just going to say the short English guy has uh, has joined. He can barely look over the table, but uh, <laughs> you adjusted your uh, your camera mm. quite quite nicely. <laughs> Jungle Jargon oh, said he didn't change the battery in the fire alarm. I was just thinking that. Was I, okay, 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 okay. All right, let me put this to rest once and for all. <laughs> I literally yeah. asked the the people at the front desk to come change my or to come fix my fire alarm last semester. It is almost <laughs> the end of this semester. They never came to fix it. It just stopped beeping and it beeps intermittently now. I'm not sure why. Nobody I, I, I thought I thought it was like a bird uh, chirping. I, I am <laughs> this close to committing a federal crime by taking a hammer to that thing. <laughs> do it. Do it, Jack. Because I know asking the about it does not do anything. <laughs> you is should. It, you can say it fell off the wall and it smashed into a thousand pieces. <laughs> I need I a new I could, one. I think it's bolted to the wall. So <laughs> I'd have to Jackson, like, Jackson get... is, it, is it hooked up to a central system? Yes. Make it go off. <laughs> That'll help. Yes, yes. You can make like, it go. You know. Make it go off every single day. What I yeah. I could what I could do is I could just uh, silence my mic and let all of you chat amongst yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> In, like entertain me. Oh, it's not man. like you don't talk too much, is it? There we go. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> can I take <laughs> a moment? Could Could I have a moment? Okay. Yeah. Just one. Right. Just first, one. First, don't don't forget first. don't forget to wipe afterwards. First, <laughs> say hello right. to my old friend Neslig, who I very rarely see outside the League of Reason, but but hello. Oh, are, are you hack and slash? Uh, well, who else would I be? Oh, I, I, I I didn't know that. Sorry. Uh, uh, hello. I, I have I haven't come back to uh, the League of Reason in a while, so it, it's kind of, it kind of died out uh, a bit. Yeah. Uh, well, but there's one troll has taken over the place pretty much, hasn't it? Yeah. So. Uh, oh, uh, is his name? Uh, how is his name again? Who is he? Flash. Um, no, no, the, 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 the troll. Leroy. Yes, yeah. indeed. Leroy. Yeah. He, he he was already there before I came in, so. Was he? I think so. Well, uh, I think I think he was. He was he one of the first previous, guys. Yeah. Yeah. He had a previous. No, no. He had a previous account as Dan Dan years ago, um, oh. but he he actually only came in in the last sort of two years or something. I don't know something like that. Uh, the other thing is, Shannon. I understand you're fishing around for a subject for your first video that you've got to do for a forfeit for passing a thousand followers without having your bloody video on oh your channel. God. Right. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, yeah. I think I found a subject, but I'm open to suggestions because yeah. I feel like I should probably make more than one. So <laughs> I, I have I have a suggestion. Okay. Um, a couple of you will already have heard about the, the quantum hug initiative, yes? Too late. You it already passed us by in the chat. You're too late. Don Michel beat you to it. What did it? Well, I don't know what anybody's talking about. So if you're addressing me, you're not too late. <laughs> the, the quantum That's what I like to hear. So, the, so I, I started this thing called the Quantum Hug Initiative, and the idea is to to kind of get people to feel better by sending virtual hugs around the place. And because they're quantum, because there's only electrons involved in the sending of these hugs, they can actually exist in superposition. So if you send one hug, you can hug everybody in the planet with the same hug at the same time. Aww. And if you send and if you send if you send a quantum hug to one person directly. What you're actually doing is sending a, a super a superposed hug from everybody in the planet for that person to receive it once. So on the first of June for 24 hours, um, we'd be running an experiment just just trying to get as many quantum hugs out there as we possibly can. There's a there's a post on my blog about it and lots of uh, images and, and stuff like that. And uh, and um, yeah, I think it'd be a really good one for your for one of your first videos. Oh, that's an interesting idea. That's a, that's an interesting idea. The, I'm not as I'm not as nice as you are though. <laughs> 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 the 
there's people I don't want to give hugs to. <laughs> there's so many people on the planet I don't want to hug. <laughs> but, 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 but once they've, once they've been hugged, they might actually be better people, and then then you might feel more inclined to give them a hug. That's kind of the that's the double whammy of the quantum hug initiative. Well, that's fair enough, but you know I'll let you hug them because. <laughs> <laughs> You don't actually have to hug anybody. You just stand there. You just stand yeah, but I have to know that I made them feel good. <laughs> <laughs> and there's certain people that I just don't know if I can live with that. <laughs> I don't know, Tony. By the time someone's willing to hug you, they know they've had a really bad day. <laughs> oh, Paul needs oh, a man. hug. Somebody give Paul a hug. I'm <laughs> devastated. Does this mean, Paul, that I am never going to get a Paul or Gia avatar? Uh, no, no, no. That doesn't. Well, you know, drawing <laughs> cartoons and hugging are separate issues. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I would say that drawing a cartoon of somebody is, is very much like a quantum hug, especially since you're going to be transmitting it electronically anyway. <laughs> oh, I don't know. He made one of Eric Hovind I'm and good at this, I feel like he wasn't hugging them. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to hop off of here. I got to go to Side Strike. I have stuff I have to talk about on his channel in regards to climate change. I think I want to talk about water and how climate change is affecting watersheds. Cool. Is it an open oh, hangout cool. or is it just you and some specific people? It's, uh, I, I believe it's me, uh, Steve Bauman, Andy, and Cy Strike. We usually uh, hop on there, but you're welcome to hop over there after Jackson's talk or shoot him a message. Well, so, well, I, I, I probably go in an hour to bed soon because I have to uh, get up in the morning uh, early. So, yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, thanks yeah. for having me on, Jackson. It was cool seeing everybody. Hi, Paul. Bye, you guys, Paul. Thanks for coming. Bye, Thank you. Peter, Bye, Tony. Bye. 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 All right. Well, all right. Now let's talk about Mel. All right. <laughs> oh, perfect. She's gone, everybody. Uh, <laughs> yes. All the things you ever wanted to say about Mel, get them out of the way now. Uh, well, I, uh, I I already did on Twitter just now. <laughs> Paul, do you, does, does Ken Ham need a hug? Do you think? <laughs> Uh, can't need to talk for sure. <laughs> I don't think yeah, he's. He, I, think, I don't think I he's think, getting I them at. I don't think he's getting them at AIG with the the weird passive aggressive comments he makes <laughs> towards the staff. Well, no, the trouble is he's probably getting you know he's probably getting the kind of hugs that you know are, are given only reluctantly because that <laughs> definitely seems to be the way the vibe I get when I see him deal with his staff. Hey, but but. Uh, Aren't they, aren't they all into those? Um, aren't they all into those? Um, all those the, the biblically acceptable side hugs? Oh yeah, greet another with a holy kiss and stuff. Yeah, yeah, they they don't work, do they? That's not. A hug. Hey, Paul, Paul, do you, you remember when you uh, went there to the Ark Encounter and they didn't recognize you? I, very vividly, yes. Yeah, yes. Uh, did they come back to uh, when you uh, posted video and now they know? Who you are and uh, that you have been there. Did they, oh, they uh, know who he is. Yeah. Oh, you know, they're well uh, how, 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 how did they react? How did they react to that when, when they realized that you were there? How did they realize? They started banning him from conferences. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Yes. Really? Oh my God! Yes, you are. You are not up to date, my friend. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, they know who the hell what? he is. <laughs> yeah, Ken is in my province right now. And I got banned from two events that he was going to be at. Uh, Answers in Genesis both banned me themselves, and then they also got the organizers of a different event that they were holding to uh, revoke any invitation, revoke my red paid registration <laughs> to the event, just because they did not want me in the audience. Even but you didn't do anything. <laughs> you didn't do it. They, they 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 didn't even recognize you back then. Nope. Now I just merely yeah. exist, and that is uh, <laughs> not not good. That's really grim. I mean. That's really grim. I mean, Dr. Jen Gunter has been going after Goop like nobody's business for, for nearly two years. And they knew who she was. And she then they still bowled up for, she still, she still got a ticket for one of their events and went to it and spent the day there and then wrote a really nasty post about it on her blog. Yeah. yeah. Paul, Paul do, you know, do you know why, why you got rejected? Well, it makes sense that I got rejected from their fundraising dinner because clearly I was not going to be writing a big check to them. Even though they no, sent them an invitation. There's, <laughs> there's, there's a different reason. 
It's because they don't want him to say anything about what he sees. No, it's it's so they can still say, were you there? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate no, you weren't there. Yeah. I think Peter's been sitting on that one for Sorry. like the past two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> that was the first thing I thought of when I saw your video on it. So I, I had to I had to wait a long time to to be able to to make that one. Oh, oh, right. oh. I, th I think Jackson Jackson was joking when he said you've been sitting on it for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Paul, Paul. Yeah. Paul, J Jungle Jogan is saying that you were banned because uh, you are you were there to find faults or something. I, th I think you were you were there to find flaws in the arguments. So anyway, yeah, jungle jargon, what the fuck he knows about anything? It's hard yeah. not to find flaws and answers in Genesis. Yeah. But, but at the same time, like, honestly, like, would any time, like, for example, if you guys saw my, you know, I, I spoke publicly about at Darwin Day, and several times throughout the talk, I asked the audience, who probably knew more science than I did, because there's a lot of scientists there, Please tell me afterwards or put up your hand and let me know where there are flaws in what I'm saying. Like what kind of person uh, doesn't want. No, I'm, honestly, I would have never said anything. I would have never disrupted. It was a big, it was a big event. He was going to speak. I was not going to say anything. But who doesn't want their flaws pointed out? Like what kind of person doesn't want that? Well, the same group that has, you know, uh, no apparent or perceived contradictions to the biblical account and history or geochronology. Or you know, well, can, at least can be considered at, real. <laughs> at least, at least we now know that uh, Ken Ham doesn't follow his own Bible. I think First uh, Peter three fifteen would be a very good reason to let you join <laughs> the conference, wouldn't it? Right for those for those who don't know that verse off the top of their head, I'll always be prepared to give a defense to those who ask. Yeah, 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 yeah. And wow. and you weren't you weren't only asking; you were paying for it. Mm. Right, and it's not like I was. It wasn't a Ken Ham conference. It was a home education conference, and honestly, Ken Ham was only became a small part of why I was going there. Shannon and I joined several secular homeschooling groups uh, after November when I was on national news uh, talking about it because a lot of said, "Well, what you may know a lot about Ken Ham, but you don't know anything about homeschooling," and that was fair. And so, yeah. I mean, my main thing I wanted to do here was like, if I'm going to be on the news about homeschooling, which I may well be again this week. Um, shouldn't I try to educate myself as best as possible? So I was going to go to all kinds of non Ken Ham events. There was, um, there was a, chocolate for I, mommies. <laughs> chocolate for mommies. I wasn't invited to. I actually was hoping to get Mel's take on that. Um, there was, you know, there was all kinds of home education uh, things that had nothing to do with with young earth creationism. And, oh well, and I was denied seeing all of that. Um, mm. You you were denied a massage, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I was denied a massage. It was from it's Ken Ham's very hands. <laughs> Paul, Paul, tell me the uh, the guy the guy who, uh, who who gave you the notification. Calvin Smith wasn't. Yeah, wasn't he from from Creation uh, Ministries? Yeah, so he was from CMI Creation Ministries yeah. International. You're exactly right. He was the co-host on so, their TV show, and he is now the head of Answers in Genesis Canada. So he switched to the main opposition. Right, he got called up to the big leagues, as it were. Yeah, but Creation uh, Ministries, aren't, aren't they uh, the ones that Ken Ham came from? Yes, they are. But um, and, and frankly, I think that they do more... I think they do more actual research than Answers in Genesis does. But Answers in Genesis has in become quotes. the... More research? <laughs> well, more they, they, so they have more staff who is dedicated to writing. They have more staff that is dedicated to um, uh, at least reading through scientific literature and pick, cherry picking things that they can use. Um, but Answers in Genesis is now the the five hundred pound gorilla, five thousand pound gorilla uh, in terms of um, curriculum in churches and curriculum for homeschool. So um, CMI didn't grasp onto the financial success that can come from uh, these homeschooling kids. I'm, you know, from, from what I've learned, they spend a good $2,000 a year on books. And if Ken can grab half of that from each student, 
you know, that's a lot of that's a that's a lot more money than um, than CMI is raising, for example. Like, if if you want to go where the money is, Answers in Genesis has a great business model. Yeah, yeah. so so they do. So, they, so he's, he's no longer co-hosting on on CMI. Yeah, no, they replaced him. Uh, if you if you go to, I'm subscribed to the CMI channel. They've replaced him with a, a shorter, less interesting person. <laughs> <laughs> less interesting. Well, at least I mean, Calvin Smith wore very colorful clothes. <laughs> the new guy, well, just like some Kel of his accountants. Kelvin Smith mostly got uh, his his words out. The other guy they have on there, he can't even read from the teleprompter. Yeah, and unfortunately, that dude is still there. They're, they're, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's, he's he's terrible. If I if I could if I had time to start another channel, I would love to. Uh, look at that CMI show in the same way I look at creation today. I'm actually hoping that some other that would be a great niche for if some if someone out there is looking to start a, a channel that's similar to what I do, uh, CMI would be prime target. Oh, they, I, they're very prolific. Uh, I, and oh yeah, it, it's they are. Funny I, you should say I'm, that. I've looked at a few of their uh, articles for for my videos. They're, they they were the only. Interestingly, they're the only creationist group. Uh, of like the major ones I could find who talk specifically about index fossils. Isn't that weird? Hmm. I, 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 this has no page dedicated to them, just a single paragraph and a long article. That's interesting because I've mentioned them in their answers news. Yeah. Yeah. Multiple actually, times. Yeah. So that surprises me because I've been all up and down there. I, I have to air quotes when I say journal because even right. using the word journal pisses me off in reference to that. Well, I mean, when I was in, when I did uh, Paul's video, they, uh, Bodie mentioned index fossils. And so I, you know, I spoke a little bit about that. And so, but they have no paper specifically dedicated to that. That's surprising me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, that's, it's that's funny you should say that. Yeah, it's funny you should say that though, Paul, because uh, because um, I will be um, that that's actually one of my targets. I'm, I'm going to be my YouTube channel is going to start getting some activity soon, and um, basically it's mostly going to be converting the my blog to video form to kind of increase um, increase the the kind of um, reach of it. But one of the things that I was thinking about doing was doing something very very like what you do with ham and eggs for for uh, CMI. That's I'm excited. I will. I'm thrilled. And let, let me know if you need any help promoting it or doing anything because I'm all on board for that. Ham and eggs. Ham and eggs. <laughs> yeah, you need a catchy <laughs> theme song. That's what you. I, CMI doesn't have a. Maybe you could do the, use the CSI theme songs <laughs> and use CMI instead. Dun dun. <laughs> it has, so has, 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 has to be done <laughs> really crap in voice. It has to be dun dun. dun. <laughs> Oh no, that's what you need to do. You like uh, Horatio? What was the guy's character's name on CSI Miami? Like always pulling his sunglasses off at the <laughs> start. The catch right, catch yeah. 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 The, 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 David what's his chops? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was a Brit, right? Um, no, I don't think so. Oh no, 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 no. I, think I thought he was putting on his American accent. No, he just sucks at even speaking okay. his own he dialect. Just sucks at being a person. <laughs> Speaking of a person no, who no, puts no, on, I, I think he's American. I, th I think because he's Ginger, everybody thinks he must be Irish or Scottish. But no. <laughs> did did you guys, you guys saw that uh, Hugh Laurie spoke at the uh, American Atheist uh, conference? Yeah. Yes, well, it won an award, didn't it? Great. Did that uh, did that go up anywhere publicly? Do we know? I have absolutely no idea. I've not looked into that, but. The funny thing is, everyone conflates him as house. Like people think he's house, but he's not. <laughs> he's black adder to me. I'm sorry. Hey, I yeah, <laughs> okay. he's Prince George. He's Prince George and Captain Darling. Yeah, not Darling. Um, um, like when I think, I when I think of black adder, am I George, the only one yeah. who thinks of like black adder when I think of Hugh Laurie? Is my well, my well, I mean, of a nerd? The thing is well, no, no, I am as well. I'm, Black Adder is one of my two favorite TV programs of all time. The other one being Red Dwarf. Oh, but, um, but, I, I, but, but I remember um, I've, I've been exposed to Hugh Laurie since long, long, long before any of that when he was on Not the Nine O'Clock News with Rowan Atkinson and, and various others. And um, a bit of Fry and Laurie is always worth a watch if you've never seen that. No, I haven't. And, I do. So, so that's Stephen Fry and Hugh Laurie used to be a comedy double act and used to do like this sketch show called A Bit of Fry and Laurie and it's really, really out oh, that there. That would be completely, awesome. 
and not only that, you get to see ex what, what what a fantastic musician Hugh Laurie is as well. You know, he's uh, speaking What's as a musician who plays multiple instruments. He makes a classical sick. pianist, isn't he? Um, he, he he has played classical. It's not really his thing, but he's he's a blues guy, really. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, but um, but yeah, I mean, he plays plays like eight instruments or something like that. I play sixteen, but none of them as well as he plays any of those. You know, <laughs> you know, I'm a, I'm a pro musician, but I, but he, he just makes me sick. He's so talented; it really pisses me off. It's funny because when people think of Rowan Atkinson, the only thing they think of is Mr. Bean, and as soon as I think of Rowan Atkinson, immediately I think of Black Adder. Absolutely. Um, but you know, even even before that, but uh, it was George the Gorilla on not the nine o'clock news. <laughs> well, so 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 George, uh, talking gorilla. So you know, when you captured, were you wild? He said, "Wild, I was bloody livid." <laughs> 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 yeah, Rowan Atkinson, funniest man alive in my opinion. He's uh, he go. gets to do Zazu in the new Lion King. I understand. Oh. Is that is that true? Oh. Right. No, that's uh, John Oliver. Oh, they replaced him. Oh, that's right. Oh, right. Oh, no. Right. Yeah, I'm excited for that because I love John Oliver. <laughs> yes, me too. They've got. Um, oh no, it's it's uh, James Earl Jones who's coming back. That's right. He's the one. Yes. Who's coming back. Yeah. yeah, they've got a uh, oh uh, Donald Glover playing Simba, which is going to be really cool. I think. I think so too. I like him. He he was really good. There he's. I mean, like, he's I just think it's hilarious good. that they're calling it the live action version when literally there will be nothing live action in it. Oh, CGI. <laughs> yeah. It's like they they just show some lions crossing the Serengeti and then they narrate over them. <laughs> That's yeah. the movie. That's the Lion King. Shannon, I had I had the four. I pulled out a fourth Doctor clip. We haven't had a chance to talk about this. I pulled out a fourth Doctor clip for my last video, and you didn't say anything about it. I was listening to it at work. I didn't look at it. Mm. Which Doctor clip did you use? Well, they were they there was an ep, there was a three episode series where they actually land on Titan, and because uh, scientist Mel was talking so much about the moon Titan. That oh, I, uh, old Doctor Who. Old yeah. Doctor Who, fourth yeah. Doctor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's before ten. Yeah, okay, sweet. So I pulled out, I pulled out uh, fourth Doctor clips for you. Oh, and I didn't even notice. You must have been so hurt. I was a little sad. Oh, I have a question for all of you, all of you guys. Uh, should we have Jungle Jargon come in? Hell's yeah, do it. Bring him in. Bring him in. Let me go get a okay, drink. Okay, okay. Right. Go get a drink. Do it. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> All right. A little jargon. I'm putting the okay. brief. So who, oh, briefly let, in the chat. So let me ask a question. Who's who's jungle jargon? He's a brain dead leopard. <laughs> oh, I'm setting the tone for a positive conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I know jungle is a frequent commenter on my videos. Who I <laughs> Same with mine. Address. Right, so listen guys i i'm going to i'm going to go um jackson yeah, could i could i send you a link to pop in the description and, and an image to kind of put up at some point towards absolutely the end the video. you're a superstar i'm going to go and see if i can get side track to do the same this is this is my mission at the moment is to get this, this quantum hug initiative publicized as widely oh, as i can you're so um, <laughs> side strike already did tony side strike already did it you never yes, do it many times Actually, he's actually, 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 he's on a live stream. We'll get in there, get him to do it again. Actually, I did the voiceover for that. Oh, I know, I know it was crappy. I know, but I did my best. Yeah. No, no, fine. I, I, I listened to it. It, it, you know, it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say any more than that, but no, it was fine. Thanks very much, Jackson. For Jackson, you you have to t turn on the cameraman now because you put the link in the live chat and. That will draw out Paul Bomber, so. Yeah, you don't uh, want to do that. I mean, yeah. I just put it out there. I was going to uh, get rid of it as soon as he jumped in. I mean, I don't know where else I would put it in. You know how to do cameraman, though, right? Cameraman? What? Uh, in control room, you can turn on what is known as cameraman. So, yeah. That prevents uh, someone from hijacking your... Your, yeah. your channel and stream. Actually, wait, no. I think I do know one other... I think I do know one other place I can do it. Uh, what Darth Vader shirt, my favorite. Uh, I, I can send him the link directly on uh, Google Hangout. So. Oh, you can? Okay, great. that's what I was actually about to do. If you can do that also, that'd be great. That's uh, great. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, anyways, uh, what else is in 
the news today. Uh, I really did enjoy the roast to Ken Hovind. I thought that was pretty funny. Oh, we were we were originally going to talk about chromosome two. That was originally why we came here, wasn't yeah. it? Like, yeah. <laughs> I saw what this is happening. I matter. Well, uh, fun fact. Yeah. Yeah. I. Uh, I. I had. I had a really fun time making that video um, because I done messed up the first one, and then I. <laughs> <laughs> then I, so I took it down, and then Nestle and Rational Mind helped me fix it up, and then uh, and then PBS took it down <laughs> for the Americans. For America, I, yeah, I, I could see it, but uh, some people couldn't see it. So yeah, uh, damn PBS. Which which is kind of weird because I have an American IP address and I could watch it. I have an IP address in San Francisco. Yeah, uh, but I could, but I could still watch it. I have also, watched it. Also, Jungle Jargon. I put the link in Google Hangouts directly to you, so you can click on the link and join. Well, we'll see if he shows up. No, but... no, no, no hurry, please. <laughs> no, no hurry. But it was really interesting. Well, okay. It was the the interesting thing was, is that the the true facts of the case were far more interesting than what I thought was the case. There was mm. just some really, really neat stuff in there yeah. that I got to learn about. Uh, like, uh, okay. So, what? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going I'm to have to go. I've popped a link in the side chat here, yeah, and I've it. popped an image in the group chat on Twitter. <clears throat> All right. It will be All right, uh, thanks very taken much. care of. You're a megastar. Uh, <laughs> thanks for having me on, and I'll see you all soon, yeah? All right. Bye, Tony. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye, Tony. All right. And then there were uh, five or so. Um, and and I forgot something. I forgot what? to mention something. This what is, is going to be like uh, Charlie and the Chocolate <laughs> Factory, isn't it? <laughs> Tony set we'll up a new, was worthy. Tony set up a new account for Mind the Gap, and I wanted to thank him for it, and I completely forgot. So. Ah. We'll do that in the next live stream. <laughs> if 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 it's not suspended by then, you never know. <laughs> Everyone's getting. I have not yet been suspended. Yay! I'm glad I have not been suspended yet. But, uh, oh well. I guess I'm not trying hard enough. I've been, I've been uh, uh commenting yep. on Ken Ham's post recently. You you were you were too friendly to our uh. Uh, favorite university professor. That's why. You're, that's why you're not suspended yet. Who's our favorite university professor? Is that PZ? Uh, no, 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 no. PZ is uh, not our favorite. No. Uh, Sorry, PZ. A, 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 some, some Christian apologist. I won't name names. Uh, right. I was friendly to your Christian apologist. I've never had any issues with that. <laughs> no. I, I had, which cost me, I think, about 10 accounts. So, And and I have DM confirmation of that. Okay. Well, it's, that's different Ten. than my experience. I haven't had a bad one. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Google, uh, Google Plus is... Uh-oh. 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 It says he can't join because he's... Why does it say he's blocked? Um, that's hmm. weird. That is weird. No, it, it means you you have blocked some somebody else, perhaps. Block? I don't think I've blocked anyone. No, no, no. Jungle Joker ha ha has blocked perhaps somebody here. Oh. oh, someone who's in this conversation. Yeah. Oh, well, Jungle Dragon, you'll have to unblock whoever it is. I guess. I yeah. I don't think I've blocked yeah, anyone. It, 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 if you have blocked somebody, it says you have blocked this person. That's why you can join or something. I don't know. Can you perhaps make a screenshot so we can see who you have blocked? Maybe, maybe he has me blocked. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he has me or, Sh or Shannon. Yeah, yeah, I can't blame him for blocking me. I'm the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Were, were, were you expecting us to disagree that was spot on? No, no. It's just <laughs> absolutely true. I'm the worst person. <laughs> you're, too, you're too nice <laughs> to everyone. Too nice. 
Yeah, let's see. Uh, uh, can you see, Shannon, can you see his icon in the Google Hangouts chat? Yeah. Uh, uh, usually, if you, are, you have, if you are blocked by him, you can see the icon of him, I think. See his icon. Oh, there's a cat talking. Mm, I can see it alt. Uh, okay. It says, hold on. The cat says, hold on. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Um. Oh, Paul. Also, I thought it was really uh, a great idea to go with uh, Tony Reed as the 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 intro for your <laughs> is Genesis history videos. Uh, he had the rough, Sorry, proper grab uh, Genesis history. Uh, yeah, the, uh, Paradise Lost. Uh, yeah, he. Uh, Lord, sorry, what about is my that? Puppy here. <laughs> That's a puppy. <laughs> what the, what the, what the, what the hell? Guys what the hell was that? What the hell was that? <laughs> That's my beagle. My hound who uh, is very loud and you know. So, sounds like a, a, a tie fighter. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Tony Reed has the all the best voice. He's got the proper gravitas to match their uh, Vody Bachman. <laughs> Tony's the best. He and I are trying to do a video together soon. Yeah. Oh, I look forward to that. I think the best part is that if you play Bodhi's voice at 10 times speed, it's it's just almost like a normal person talking. <laughs> 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 it was so fast. Paul had it sped up at one point in time because he thinks so quickly that like he speeds things up so that he can listen to them faster. And I was mm -hmm. like, oh, you didn't speed that up. And he's like, no, that's at 10 times. <laughs> Thank like, you, gosh. <laughs> wow. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that's uh, how slowly Bodhi speaks I, in the movie. I can't stand to listen uh, and to listen to Bodhi. He he's so arrogant. Oh, not Bodhi, I mean, not Bodhi Hodge, Bodhi Bachman, the uh, Bodhi, the, yeah. the, uh, the 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 large black preacher man who uh, narrated. Oh, uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. He speaks so slowly and deliberately that uh, yeah, literally, I can I sped it up five times and it and. And and it, still you slow. barely notice that it's at a, <laughs> at a rapid pace, especially compared to creationists who speak so quickly as it is. Yeah, I mean he he is he is laying out the most important words ever uttered by God. So, I mean, yeah. <laughs> let me try a socket you know count. Yes, yeah, socket count. <laughs> I just double checked. I'm not. I don't have jungle blocked, so I don't. I don't have anyone blocked actually. So I don't know. I only. I've only ever blocked one person on on YouTube. I don't think I have anyone blocked on Twitter, but one person was being uh, especially belligerent. So, oh, oh well. <clears throat> but but that's life, I guess. Uh, it is fun though to have conversations with people in uh, the YouTube comments. It's yeah, always fun when someone. <clears throat> When someone comments on a video I made like months ago and it's like they're like hey what about this it's like uh I thought about that because I made this video a long time ago so yeah. I was I was having a conversation on Twitter earlier and the guy stopped responding so I went to his his channel to see what's up and he got restricted mid conversation oh. no clue what what happened there that's weird I'm yeah. assuming seek most something is jungle jargon. So <laughs> I, I made it. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, hello. Hello, everybody. How, How you doing? doing? Uh, <laughs> I, I can't figure it out now. I don't know what's wrong. Uh, you, I don't understand this internet you, thing either. I, but the most likely reason is you have somebody blocked here. It's me. Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't usually block people unless they hound me forever, you know. Hmm. But I have, have, have you viewed uh, your blocking list and checked uh, who perhaps you have? In fact, somebody blocked here and you, you just forgot about it. It could be. What? What's the? I don't know how to get to. It the was probably list. Paul. Knowing Paul, it's probably him. Yeah, I'm a, I'm no, a big no, jerk. No, no. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you have no idea I what I deal with. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Like jungle. Let me see here. If you go here, like <clears> this. <throat> You can you can go to settings and you can see your blocked people list right there. Uh, on on this, uh, 
on that the sounds hangar. like an activity for another time. Yeah, you're here now. Let's cut. Let's. What do you What do you want to talk yeah. about? What's up, Jungle Jargon? What's up? What's up? Uh, what's up? What's up? <laughs> so everybody, Leslie, Paul, Jackson. Also, okay. Shannon um, and Peter. I thought. I but, tell you guys no, want to talk to me. Me. I don't have I'm not very uh very uh talkative. Well, have what? you done any uh, reflecting on on what I told you about genetics last time we talked? Well, I know the genetics can't change uh I mean uh I can't write vast amounts of programming that's not there. I can't uh Know, generate information that's not there. Right. You remember how we talked about this argument and how it it doesn't really make sense because when well uh, what what was your definition of information again? Wasn't it? Didn't we uh, establish that it was protein coding genes? But right. But Darwinian Darwinian evolution depends on mutations and single and mutations. Mm -hmm. Single mutations to add up to vast amounts of programming just doesn't doesn't add up. Well, we actually have lots of of examples where you can have uh, where you have mutations that generate either novel uh, structures or functions, and w which w which we talked about last time, like uh, gene duplications that cause new structures to form, such as in uh, Ragavalia, uh, uh, which is a water strider, or in the, the new pigment forming in the slender clarkia flower or the triploid. Well, I don't think we talked about this last time, but uh, there's a new triploid species of, of crawfish and they're kind of taking over uh, the ecosystems because they're, I guess they're better off genetically than the other and you, and you have also to realize when, that... When, you also have to Wouldn't realize that, that it's not it's not just point mutation; it's also duplications and right. a gene a gene shuffling and such. That be genetic activation, or, you know, different activation of different things that's already in the genome. I, well, I, have, so, I have. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Peter. Jungle jargon. I have a quick question: How do flu shots work? Why do they work? Well, the flu shot is a uh, is a Based shot on? that gives you it gives you uh, you know parts of the virus so that you can develop an immunity to it. What what so what, that it can what what develop is it? antibodies to yeah. attack the virus? Okay, but what is it mainly based on? It's based on genetic information that you introduce into the body no. so that you can develop an immunity no, to, no, to the virus. No, 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 no. There's, there's, there's a mechanism that it's based on. Do you know this mechanism? The, well, it injects the DNA into the, I mean, the RNA or whatever. No, to, no, to no, 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 that's, that's not, it's not or about... To utilize... It. It's not, it's, like, not a, it's not about to, injecting. To what, what, what I mean is, how is the flu vaccine developed? There's a mechanism they use for that. Do you know which mechanism they're using to develop flu shots? Well, that's based on mutations. It's called the theory of evolution. So if that doesn't work, how come flu shots work? Well, your immune system uses mutations or accelerates mutations to develop yeah, that, uh, antibodies or different viruses. Not, I, I think you have to. I think you have to <clears throat> explain to just explain the background because he doesn't yeah. get it. That's that's not what I asked. If a flu shot is made using the theory of evolution, and the theory of evolution doesn't work, how come flu shots work? But you're taking because, because the variation of what you already have. Because you're talking they, about variation of an existing genome no, or no, RNA. No, no. Uh, I, th I, think, I think you need to explain no. how, how flu shots are made. Like they, made them, they make them by exposing the virus to a new host, like, for example, chicken cells, I think. 
and the virus adapts to infect the, those chicken cells. And now when they are dead to chicken cells, it has a less uh, in, infection to us when, when the, we are exposed to it. Right. And, that, and that's what I'm saying. <clears throat> and that's not a, and that's not adaptation. That's that's evolution. Yeah, yeah, yes. It evolves. Yes. It exactly. evolves. So no, you're evolving. You're evolving it for it not to work. Yes, exactly, exactly. We 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 evolve we evolve the virus to be less to be less infectious not, to us to us so we can survive really, the flu shot. But it's not really evolution. It's yeah, a it's, variation it's, of what of a given of a given genome. Right? That's and, precisely and, what and, evolution and is. is. And that is also evolution. Yes, variation. I mean, <laughs> A jungle jar. Well, evolution we would require. This is what my problem with evolution. Evolution would require vast amounts of programming that's not there. <laughs> not, no not, 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 so not, not necessarily. Not can get there. So, all evolution requires. All evolution requires is a change in allele frequency. So, if you have a change, not not not, not even an increase in information is is required for evolution to occur. Well, maybe well, that's jungle changing jargon what's can... already there. Jungle right, jargon. So it is still evolution. Jungle jargon. Maybe uh, he's variation add... of what's there. It's still evolution. Yeah. So Ray, 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 uh, what, what, evolution. When, Ray, 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 so jungle jargon in in evolution, we we don't have to have all right. Uh, because we talked about this last time, we don't really know what what you mean by programming, but in evolution, well, what do you? Okay, right. So that doesn't really mean anything to us in genetics, right? In genetics, we use words that have specific definitions, like we have a specific definition of gene and things like that. And so, and allele. Right. You, understand, you understand that between chimps and humans, there's vast amounts of differences uh, in programming. There are. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hold on. 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 He's jumping to another topic. Fo stay focused. Okay. On, okay. On so, so in no, genetics, well, that's what so, I'm talking about. Okay. No, talking stay, about. stay focused. So, okay. So with evolution, all we need in evolution is changing a little frequencies in a population, which which I, you you also agreed to, and which creationists generally would agree to, because that's, right. that's pretty simple. So all we're doing when we talk about evolution, we over, evolution, that is evolution. That's the definition of evolution. So all we do when I we're talking about our bait and switch stuff. No, it, I literally no. made a whole video explaining how this is not a bait and switch tactic because we invented the terms so they can't be a bait and switch. Um, yeah. So the but it is. It's well, not, you're, you're, you're making jo the jungle. No, you're jungle. I, I can. Jungle. I can help. The problem. The I problem isn't. You. The problem jungle. isn't the words themselves. The problem is that creationists are selectively deciding which ones they want to keep and which ones they want to exclude. I actually met a creationist the other day who has no who has no problem with limited macroevolution, which I yeah. which most creationists do. They they don't have a problem with limited yeah. macroevolution. They just won't define where the barrier is. They call that a kind. But they won't ever define it. Yeah, define I, it. I, I, I just want to say, I just want to say that uh, I can help you, Jungle. By you are accepting evolution to up to a point. You are, you don't deny evolution within the same kind or uh, up below a same degree of information. You deny that evolution can occur deny. by adding in new information. That that is your, your I don't position. Deny I don't deny the variation of what's yeah, already you, there. Yeah, can and, I, and, and that, that is still that is still evolution. That that's not what you are getting. Can I can I ask can I ask well, a couple of questions? Would no, it doesn't, would it doesn't require. I mean, not, that's the point. That's the point. You you accept the variation part of evolution, but you don't accept the new information part of evolution. That's guys, the distinction. guys, can, guys, 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 we're all speaking at once. Hold on, okay, Jungle Jargon, you, you can finish, and then Peter has questions you like to ask. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah, that's changing what's already there. That's not adding information that's not there. Okay, go ahead, Peter. Okay, I, I have a couple, just a couple of simple questions. Uh, jungle jargon. Um, since you are the specialist on, on this on this panel, uh, can you tell us which kinds were on the ark? And and I want to specify it. Uh, let's let's go to Either maybe the the dog or the wolf kind. Were were they both on the ark, or was 
just a wolf kind on the ark or can can you explain i'm not sure what exactly was on the ark but i know that uh, i know that uh, a lot of uh, jaguars and leopards are the same kind but i'm not sure about other cats I, but it could I, be they could be the same way too. I, know, well, know I, I think I so, think we should stick with the the uh, nestlings. I think we should stick with the the information part because I want to hammer home. Uh, I, I was I, w I was getting there, Jackson. I okay, was getting, all right, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Okay. I was getting. There. So so uh, let's let's assume that um, the dog and the wolf and the fox kind they they supposedly all were on the ark. You think it's possible? I'm not sure, but it's possible, I guess. Okay. So, and if we start out with a fox and end up with something similar like a dog, would you say that would be evolution? No, that'd be variation of the same kind. And I know that the Russians did did exactly. Wait, that. wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! If it's variation within the kind, then we can't have the wolf and the dog and the fox kind on the ark because they're all the same kind, right? Yeah, it could be. Could be. Didn't they're didn't all didn't, the didn't God didn't God say two of every kind? And uh, so so were dogs clean animals? Did he had seven of of those on there? I I'm not sure. I think dogs are unclean. Ah, so there was only one dog kind. So either the wolf kind or the fox kind or the dog kind. So how did we get all these different species if evolution didn't work? And and well, how come and how come and how come you I I think you if you follow you Jackson you could get... Jackson if you follow Jackson Jackson did a video on my request about the silver fox experiment, which but, but you, you turned, just said which right turned foxes, which turned foxes into a completely new species, who aren't foxes anymore. A dog like animal, right? You just said that, and uh, no, I, I didn't say a dog, I didn't say a dog like animal, I said a completely new species. You said a dog like animal, well, but, but you also, but you also, when I asked about dogs and wolves, you went to cats, so supposedly you think dogs and cats are, are the same kind. No, dogs and cats aren't the same kind, no. I think he was just giving an example of how there's variation within kinds, so. May I may I interject when people are done? I just have a couple of questions for Jungle Jerkin, but I don't want to I don't want to interject. No, no, go ahead. That'll be go that'll ahead. Be a, go a ahead, Shannon. Question. Go ahead, Shannon. <laughs> well, then you never haven't mind. had a chance. All right, okay. go ahead, Shannon. Hi, Jungle Jerkin. It's nice to meet you. So I'm Shannon, and yeah, I don't think we've you. interacted before. Maybe in comments, but I've interacted with lots of people in comments. So I'm Shannon Q. Um, I'm on. I'm part of the Apologia channel. I host the Heathen Hour, co-host the Heathen Hour podcast, and I do a series on Steve McKay, McKay's McRae's channel called "Let's Talk About You with Shannon Q." So, um, I have some questions for you. So, obviously, you're a young Earth creationist, and you're you're roving around, you know, talking to to people that I guess go, go contra to to your held beliefs. So, you obviously believe that evolution at least on the macro level, isn't a thing. Am I right in assuming that? Right, right. Okay. So you believe in variation within kinds, which from your perspective would be micro evolution, right? So you believe that there can be variation within kinds and in, in order to, uh, for you to justify that being the case, you must agree that, that the genes that exist within those species or those kinds allow for a certain degree of variation, right? So right. You start, they, you start with a base pair. A, you, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, there is a, a wide uh, range of variation that you can have from in a in a number of different aspects, like coloration and size and everything. Certainly. Okay. Right. So animals. Let's. Uh, we'll. We'll stick to cats for the sake of this and conversation quite, because that makes sense. And size and, yeah, right. Sorry. Absolutely. Okay. So we'll stick to cats for the sake of this conversation because that's what you referenced earlier. So that's what we'll stick with. So if there was two cat kind, in order for them 
to branch out to the wide variety of cats that we see today, and you don't believe that mutation can cause the addition of any information, how did that variety come to exist from your perspective? Because there's a wide variety. They can be larger, they can be smaller, they can be multiple colors. How did, how did that variety happen if nothing was added? That's why I'm not sure. I'm not as sure as about cats as I am about dogs. That no, well, the okay. Kind. So there's still a wide variety of dogs as well. So the same question I believe would hold. So if you start with two archetypes, how mm -hmm. do you see the wide variation that we see today within that kind? How, how do you see them bigger, smaller, different colors, you know, not being able to interbreed with one another if there, if there was because... no addition of information? Because the genome allows for the variation of kinds. Can you explain that to me? How does a genome allow for variation within kinds? And where does that stop? Well, the, there's a number of things that allow for its adaptation or response to the environment. So there's natural selection is okay just, to you? Just uh, different colorations and size and uh, you know quantities of hair and all, you know, fur and all of that, you know, sure. there's all it's all within the the realm the possibility of a given genome okay so if you're if you're acknowledging the fact that within a genome let's just stick to color for example so within a genome from your perspective from the two base archetypes the the two prime members of that species they're allowed within those genes there was the possibility of those animals becoming any color, right? That exists today. Yeah, any color that exists, right? Sure, okay. So if, if the innate possibility to become any color exists today and any shape and any size, why can't that extrapolate out over a longer time frame for them to become different than they even are now. If you could start with two bases and those two bases allowed for the wide variation that we see today, where does that stop? Like what's the wall, I guess would be my question. You, you acknowledge the fact that they could be any color, they could be any shape, they could be any size. Right, obviously I, there are some walls. There are some walls. Or obviously some is, a, is a hard thing to say. But there are some limitations, uh, one being the size. There's limitations to how big something can get and how small. What just are you basing that statement on? Uh, what, are, what are the limitations to how big something can get? Just the logis logistics of uh, everything in the, in the organism. You know, you can't... Uh, what logistics? I mean, an elephant can be big, but a, but a mouse can't be very big. It's just a... But other rodents can be quite large. How everything is is you know but the rodent kind configured. allows for like a, a beaver is big as i mean i'm from canada and a beaver is a big a good, mother a, be a better example <laughs> is the, a better example is the capybara which is about the size of a large dog well yeah, yeah. beaver yeah same with beavers are I'm huge familiar, I'm familiar <laughs> with a couple no one, right I'm also familiar with with a couple so if they're allowed if they start well, stick with rodents for a moment. Rodents, from, but, your, from your reference point, the mouse starts very, very small. But that rodent but, kind allowed for a variation between mouse all the way to capybara and beaver. That is but, but exponential I'm not sure, expansion I'm not sure in there, size. I'm right? not sure there was only two rodents, though. See, that's the, sure that's the problem. That's what, that's what makes it difficult for me to take your argument seriously is because you're not I'm sure, sure of like your base you're just sure of your conclusion well, you're not sure of the no, premises to, you're just sure of your conclusion compare, i would have to compare the genome and see how what kind of similarities there are in the genome genome and what qualifications and do you have for a good genome comparison right well, exactly but if there's if there's uh, a, a lot of information that they don't share they don't have in common i would consider them to be different is, kinds is there a percentage difference Jungle jargon. She that asked you a question. Oh, hold on, hold on. Is is there a percentage difference, which is how you classify things as different kinds? 
Yeah, the, there is a percentage different uh, between I mean, chimps and humans. There we is share, a percentage difference. Yeah, there's like, like a less than 5% difference. difference in our no, 30, genes 30%. between humans and chimps. Yeah, if you only compare the comparable DNA. But if in between chimps and humans, there's a lot of DNA that's not comparable, so they exclude it. No, have have you have you name. seen have you seen the the comparisons of of like human and chimp chromosomes? Yeah, yeah I, I could show you a video later that that shows that there's a there's a, a a lot of DNA between chimps and humans that's not even counted. That's why. That's why you get that such video a. Uh, I, 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 have seen, I have seen. I have seen that video, and they explain why they didn't count it because it's it, it's difficult to compare DNA in a linear way. Like you can see the A, T, G, and C, and sometimes there are you there are very big gaps called indels, and these gaps are caused by like duplications or deletions of, of large sections of DNA. So that's why it's difficult to compare these things, which is why they are. They are they use uh, gap gene alignment to to filter out those gaps in the genome. Uh, uh, but they already I know that the, the sections of DNA aren't useless. The, the sections of DNA aren't useless. Yes, and, 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 when, are and when they and when they include between. and when they included those those big changes in the genome, the the percentage the difference percentage is about four percent. Yes. Between yeah. humans, we, no, between no, humans 30, and chimps. Thirty percent. No, no, it's four, not. It's 30, not nearly that large. Percent. No, oh, no, it's not. No, it's 30%. not. Please don't quote Tompkins' research to me because no. I will have PTSD flashbacks. Well, well, what what Tompkins did? What Tompkins did was like two things. He he, he used a flawed uh, alignment method that, that would uh, that would end up with two uh, ident two identical alignments having eighty percent dif uh, difference. How do you get a, two, ident you two the identical? Video. Yeah. Guys, guys, can we get back to Shannon's question? Because yeah, I thought, sure, I thought sure, Shannon, Shannon had a very legitimate question. What are your credentials? Jungle jargon. Uh, the credentials, the credentials when, are when it comes when it comes when it comes to to DNA and genetics. It it doesn't it doesn't make any difference when you can't have no way of generation information that's not there. Uh, it makes I mean, it, it makes a big, it makes a, it makes a big difference all, if you it makes a big even, difference if you it makes a big difference if you are qualified in the field even, yes or no I think Shannon even asked you a legitimate question even if you question. are qualified even if so, you are qualified why, you still why not, have no why way not, of generating answer, information that's not there guys. okay but why not answer the question she asked you what are your qualifications what I education did, did, did you have what education did. did you have in guys. genetics? You know, look, guys. okay. So may, I may I interject for a sec? You don't you don't have to answer that question. I understand. Yeah, you know, you're not no, I'm not a qualified biologist either, right? So maybe an unfair question for me to ask. But one of the reasons that I ask this is because if you're in a public forum criticizing and going contra to the established science and, and you're making assertions about how you would have to see the genome if you make an assertion like that as your counter argument to a legitimate question it makes it seem like either you do have qualifications or that you can speak on an informed basis about the subject matter it sounds to me like your counter arguments to this particular uh, uh, to your your particular objection to this and your arguments that, that object to this are essentially based on a presuppositional position. So you are obviously a Christian and you're obviously a young earth creationist in order for you to reconcile that the science can't be right, right? So I understand your perspective, but I believe that you, uh, Jackson is very, very qualified in this field and, and is very cogent, know, very calm so. and is very peaceful. Yeah, I, okay. I He's more so. in this <laughs> argument, for the ne sake of this, he's more qualified than you <laughs> and me. Uh, <laughs> more uh, qualified what, than the what, two of us. Give me another, give me another two years, really? and then I'll be slightly Great. qualified at all. Okay, anything. well, he's more qualified than the two of us, and has better understanding than the two of us in this conversation. So, for for you to rile against him without having a no, I would rile 
I it, would rile, I don't rile against P, uh, I don't rile against Jackson Weed. I would rile against PZ Myers because I have legitimate concerns that he has no answers for. Okay, look, and let me refuses, let me tell you as someone he refuses uh, even to have a discussion because well, look, he's afraid. He's afraid. I don't okay, know. PZ Myers is a friend of mine. Okay, I'm a friend of PZ Myers, and he is not a legitimate scientist. He is not. I can tell you as someone who is a who is a friend of PZ Myers and knows a bit about PZ Myers. That both yes, he is a legitimate researcher, and I'm well, I'm not, not really surprised. Not when you give the credit to, to objects. <clears throat> not when you get the credit to unrelated mu uh, unrelated changes for programming that's not there. You're not doing legitimate. Do science. you do you actually know about yeah, his research? Exactly. Because he has a lot of research with with uh, with zebrafish. Exactly. There's a exactly. lot of. I think I think. Well, I'm then why does it I'm, why I does any come talk to us about it? He does. Does. That's literally his job. He's, He's not obligated to talk to you. Anyone. He refused. He refused to talk to that me flat out. Mean, as soon as, as soon as I started touching time. on the issues, as soon as I started touching on the topic, jungle. he refused flat out to talk Jung to me. Jungle, jungle, PG, so jungle for stepping on it. Jungle, PG, PG Myers is a scientist, and he he doesn't have the time to go around the internet to talk to everybody on the internet, yeah. right? You understand yeah. that, right? Can he I, can could, I, can I, jungle jargon, jungle jargon, can I interject? PZ Myers, PZ Myers is not afraid of unqualified people because I am unqualified and he invited me on a stream of his. Right. And Jack can but, he, but he refuses to talk to us. No, he has actually he done many to debates address our concerns. He's done we have a lot of concerns. Um, no, we have no. He stopped doing them. He stopped doing them a long time ago. Probably because he yeah. found out they don't solve we anything. Have, we have legitimate concerns that he refuses to address because he has no answers. Such as what? That's not Such, why. What is one legitimate concern? The information I, I, that's not there between okay. chimps and humans. Okay. okay. What okay. what research are you citing for that? I really need to know because pl what research paper? What? scientist are you holding up as higher than him that you think it has demonstrated that the difference between chimp okay. and human genomes is more than we, 95 we to 97 know, we already know they're not counting all of the information no you don't just get to make an assertion what science are that. you citing what we science know, are you like citing about 30 percent no, no, it's not. That it's is your, really that's not. That's Tompkins. Just, that's Tompkins, and it's video, flawed. The video, the video that I told you about, which is not Tompkins, it's it's a, a science video. It's a science video done by who? That they don't compare all of the information. They're only okay. comparing okay. comparable who, information. What's the citation for that? And what science does it cite? What uh, is this one study science there is? I mean, oh, we no. know that for a fact. What? All you have to do is look it's at it. It's this video. I put, and you I put can the know link there's a lot the... of information between the two that's not there that they don't share. I, I put the link in the video in the group chat, and that's the video he's talking about. All right. Let's yeah, we've all no, we've all seen that one. It it doesn't cite anything. It just makes right. the random assertions but about it's... counting, which which is no. really. I mean that video sounds no. like it piggybacks off Tompkins. It it it, it basically uses no. the same phrase. No, it's all a it's a secular video. The Minute Earth video. Yeah. I, I understand it's a secular video, but it's using the same arguments that, that Tompkins oh, had to retract. Tompkins had to take his paper back when he said that there was more than there was seventy percent no. back. Well, the why fact don't that they take quoted, the video down then? Well, I don't we don't control YouTube. We don't control who owns that video. But it's because a legitimate it's science. Million million. I wish there were a lot of videos out there that people would take down. It. It's a legitimate science video based on known science. It's not. It's, it's it's not it is not a legitimate not science video. video. It's a video okay. by a YouTube. So, 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 jungle jargon. So, you understand that if I just I sent mean, you a video, known this all along anyway. Oh my you god! I'll make you a video that says we're ninety nine percent similar. Will, will you believe that? My god. Really, YouTube video? That's your okay. Look, what we judge, what we judge science by, is not by people putting out YouTube videos, right? Even if their videos are correct, we don't judge the science by their videos. We judge it by the technical literature that is available, oh, this, where we can see the materials and methods and all that information, so we can, if necessary, replicate the experiment. All for you ourselves. have to do. 
All Jackson. you have to do is look at the differences between a chimp and a human. You can know that there's a lot of a genetic information that chimps and humans don't share. Okay, Jackson. Jackson, yes. use your own mind, use your little mind, make it work, and and figure out the stuff for yourself because we've been doing this for years. Who I've been we? doing this for years. You've been doing what for years? There, there are geneticists uh, whom I have worked with who have also been looking at this stuff for years and understand that we are more closely related to your claims. Your claims. We've been investigating your claims, and they don't add yeah, up. Yeah, and I've been documenting my videos, and creationists always are either ignoring well, or misrepresenting. You say so doesn't mean, mean I can prove it. Here's your video it. too, by the way. But this is your video that I've been watching through with, the, and it's only. Three minutes and 17 seconds long, so it didn't take me long to watch through it. I'm at minute, minute 240, and it says, we may not actually be 90, 99% chimp, but we are 100% great ape, at least. So the video right. refutes That's Venom's video. own argument. What a surprise. The video so how can you be 100% great ape? Because we're apes! Because we have all the characteristics of we apes. We don't share. No. Both physiological and genetics. Lie, we do not share the same. Jungle, is a, is a duck a 100% bird? Is it what? Is a duck a 100% bird? It's a bird, yeah. yeah but there's and, many and different human, kinds of birds. Humans, yeah, and humans is also one type of ape. On the ark, for example, this is why I'm saying I'm not sure how many different kinds were on the ark because there was both uh, crows and doves well, look, that were sent out from the ark, and they're both birds. So how, there's, there's how, is, uh, how birds. is it? How is it? And there's probably different related. kinds of cats, and there could be different kinds of, of bears or whatever, foxes or whatever. Jungle, do you understand that there there are even other creationists who say that we are related to Australopithecines, for instance? That we yeah, share yeah. lots of similarities with other doesn't apes. Matter. Doesn't change the facts. Why doesn't it matter? Because you're. It doesn't you, change the facts. The yeah, fact is that we are closely related to Australopithecines because we are descended from them. And other yeah, creationists... Well, like no, it's very deceptive to exclude, to exclude differences in the genome and say we're 98% similar. That's very deceptive. It, we're not excluding. It's a no. lie. It's a lie. It's not a lie. You have produced exactly zero data to promote, to promote your position. Oh, okay. well, 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 check it out for yourself because I'm sure it's a fact. Jackson, no, it's not a fact. Jackson, I, I, they I did not count... count they did not count all the information. They excluded the information. That's not that's not comparable. Jackson, it even says can that I ask the a question? Yeah, sure, go ahead, Peter. Uh, jungle jargon. You said we, we at some point in this conversation you said we need to look at the DNA. Is that correct? Do you think do you need think that compare, we compare compare the yeah, DNA no, 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 wait, between wait, wait, different wait, wait, kinds? Wait a minute. I wasn't finished with my question. Do you think we can see th certain things in DNA? Would you would you agree to that? Well, I think I know you can see exactly what the what the commands are in DNA. Okay, so Jackson, help me out. Uh, there is, I think it's, uh, and 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 funny enough, we we have an avatar here that shows this. Uh, isn't isn't this a, a, a leopard um, or or a jaguar? Where we know there has been a genetic bottleneck. Oh, there's cheetahs. Yes, yes. Cheetahs. Well, leopards and jaguars yeah, yeah. are, are the same cheetah. kind. I'm confident. Oh, wait, a minute, yeah, wait a minute. 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 Jungle jargon. Wait a minute. I was trying to get to a point here. Do you accept that we can look in the DNA and see that there was a genetic bottleneck in cheetahs? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, great. So now explain to us how we don't see that in the dog kinds, how we don't see that in the wolf kind, the other cat kinds, because if there was a genetic bottleneck, it was, according to you, 4,000 years ago, Noah's Ark. That was a huge genetic bottleneck. How come, said, genetic, how come, how come, cheetah could be a different how kind. Come, how come the bottleneck doesn't show up in other animals, but it does show up in cheetahs? Can you please explain well, the one, mechanism behind that? 
Well, for one thing, is that cheetahs were kept as a pet, and it could have been a pet that went well, wild. No, this is not due to them being pets. We're, we're talking. We're talking about a genetic bottleneck. We're okay. not talking That's about a genetic bottleneck. Genetic bottleneck. We're not talking if, about the function if, of an animal. No, like, oh, the Egyptians can't right have cheetahs as pets. I want a cheetah. How do you get a cheetah as a pet? Are they doing yeah, the Egyptians easily? Had the Egyptians okay. had cheetahs as pet, oh, and they no, could have had jungle. No, 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 no. It's not about them being what pets. Does this is so this is something that would have happened in their environment that caused them to reduce drastically in population number. That not is an environment. Okay, that is an environment. No jungle jungle. You don't seem to understand. That's another environment. I don't even know what's real anymore. So what? What you're but saying could be right a different now. kind of cat. Jungle jargon. What you're cat. saying, like there's different jargon. kinds of birds. Hold on, hold on. What you're saying right now is because cheetahs were pets. There only were two cheetahs, just because they were pets. There was a limited number of okay. cheetahs. Jungle jargon. And they also, wanna... gone wild. But also, weren't there on the ark? Weren't there a limited number of everything with wider? Uh, size of genome with a wider genome. Wasn't there a limited number of everything? Well, but they had a good selection, good genome to, to select from. I asked you good a simple genome? yes or no question. Was there a limited number of everything? Let's say, take a couple of random numbers, uh, 14 or 2. But they were rich genome. They had a rich genome. What My is question is a simple yes or no question. Was there a limited number of animals? Yes or no? Would you say 14 animals is a limited number? It doesn't mean that they were there were chihuahuas on the ark. The answer is yes, by the way. That's a limited number of animals. Yes. <laughs> Obvi obviously, and but they know, weren't chihuahuas you know, that were do selected. You know, do you know chihuahuas why you have don't... a limited genome? Jungle jargon. Do you know why you don't genome. want to answer my question? Because no, because you're not question, listening. You're not listening question, to what I'm saying. No, no you're not you're answering not the question. question. You're not answering the question. So you're not answering the question because well, you my know the question, answer. You know the answer, question, but you're not listening to my answer. Guys, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. My question just proved. That, do that you me. said we can see a bottleneck, and yet we don't see a bottleneck in any other animal, just in cheetahs. But I'm trying so to explain it saying, to you. So what you're saying is that all the animals in the world took a vacation during the flood, and Noah only had two cheetahs on the ark. That's what you're saying. And that, that all the animals on the ark had a rich cheetahs likely were selected out it doesn't are. matter how rich the genome of course is. We no, would it doesn't see because we would still be able to see it if there was a genetic see. bottleneck. We would we still would. be able to see it in their descendants. I just tried to explain it. You have to listen to what I'm saying. You can't listen to what I'm saying. Hold on. I know. You can't compare a chihuahua with a wolf. A wolf has a rich genome. A chihuahua does not. Okay, let me, let me see if I understand what you're asking. Why are you guys, talking guys, over me? Guys, guys. Why are guys, you talking over me? Guys, guys. Let's yeah. keep it Hold on. to cats. Let's keep it to cats. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's take hold the on, lion. Hold on. Let's take the lion for Hold on. Jackson, go away. Okay. All right. Okay. So, uh, Shannon was saying something. Go ahead, Shannon. Then, oh then I think Jungle Jargon or... Nestle, were you also trying to say something? Yeah, I'm about to just go. Shannon, go first. Okay, well, let's Shannon then Nestle. Okay, go ahead. Hi, Jungle Jargon. <laughs> so I think I'm understanding what you're saying before all of the yelling happened. So it seems like what you're saying is that Chihuahuas have a less robust genome because, by your logic, the the genome started with all possibilities, and then I guess from your perspective, it lost information and that's what made chihuahuas is they progressively lost genetic information until chihuahuas were a thing right is that am i understanding that correctly right that's obvious uh, obvious obvious is a strong word but i think i'm understanding your 
perspective. Like I understand how your logic is working as you started with all possibilities in the genome and the genome is just progressively losing information. And that's the only way variation happens right. is from information and, and, being and lost. And the fact that cheetahs could be similar to chihuahuas with a, with a limited gemo, genome, the same as chihuahuas. They could, they could be, they could have progressed similarly. That's why they bottlenecked. I think that's probably what you're trying to say. Because they bottlenecked because they were a pet by the Egyptians. Right. So they lost information until they became cheetahs, and that's why they bottlenecked. So you start with right. all available that's possibilities why. in the archetypes, and then that's through loss of information that – so the only way in your perspective that we get any variation at all is through loss of information, right? So that's no. what – No. Okay. No. So that's where I'm getting confused. No. So you can add information then, right? You can't add information. So then how, how do we get the variation? Oh, okay, may, may I ask you this question then? If if we got chihuahuas because their, their genomes were less robust than the original archetype, obviously that's created, through information loss. With a complete genome. Creation right, starts out with a complete genome. Right. Evolution is all bottleneck. It's all gap. It's all absurd. It's all so, okay. No, listen to my question, though. Please and thank. Please and thank you. So, because you have to continually add information that's not there. Jungle, right. Let so, me ask the question, please. Let, yes, let me ask. You the question. have to listen to me. Listen to what the problem. Is. Okay, I'll listen to the problem and then I'll. Oh, okay. I think you. I'll listen to the problem and then I'll ask my question. Okay, just in case I have a misunderstanding of of your perspective. So please go ahead. The problem is that evolution, a biogenesis, starts out with no information. How do you get the information? Okay, so you got the information that wasn't there. Okay, evolution has to add information that's not there. Right. Step by step, every gap has to add information that's not there. It's all bottleneck. It's all absurd. It's all rubbish. It's all nonsense. It's all anti-science it's not science what's something you can know okay it's absurd it's ridiculous it's lunacy okay would you agree that i listened to what you had to say just there and 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 but may i ask my question well i don't know if you heard what i said but i did hear you i was listening very intently e evolution is lunacy you start with a biogenesis and they're the only way to get anything because you always have to get programming that's not there Right, every step every has to step add something the that's not there because uh, you always have to add on to the right. genome. Right, and like, how are you going to add programming that's not there every step of the way? Right, would you, do you agree that I've listened to you now? Do you feel listened to? I would like an answer. Okay, how do you add information? I believe that that, that happens through information being, through mutation. I believe through mutation, there, there can be, uh, okay. in, in, indels can be, Right. right. So you're changing right. what's already there and, right. and what's already there has to continue to be viable right. while magically becoming something other than what it already was. No, I don't think it's magic, but I'd, I would like to get to my question because I want to make sure that I'm focusing on your understanding. So your understanding is because that's not a viable option. Right. So we'll just we'll discount that. Because, because you're changing not, what's already there. You're right. changing what's so already I'm, there. I'm, you're I'm not agreeing. adding any pro. You're not writing programming that's not there. Yeah. So let's just say I agree with you. I agree with you. Sure. No, it's impossible. That is impossible. That can't happen. It's impossible. absurd. It's absurd. It's crazy. It's no, absurd. It's crazy. Who would believe that? It's crazy. Lunacy. Yeah. I think we're all capable of lunacy here. Yeah, so here's my question. Now that I now that I feel like you know we've discounted my perspective because my perspective makes absolutely no sense. So we're gonna. I'm going to try to understand your perspective so that I can come in line with you. So from your perspective, we start with all of the possible information in the genome, right? The so gen the, the kind is all there from it's the all beginning. there. And then from those original, because it's a creation. Yeah, because exactly. It's a creation. God it's made a, it's it a, perfect. It's right? a word. It's a written word that commands sure. things to be what they are. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. So and God everything made it is, the way it was. Everything okay, can is Shannon, what it is because of the command that makes it what it is. Sure. Okay, right. let Shannon finish. Okay, so we all, we start with that. That's our foundation. Our foundation is this perfect full genome that has all the information in it that we need from those two kinds to have all the variation that we see today. 
So if we even can't more, add, more, even there sure, was yeah, more even, variation well, before the make, flood, there was more variation, okay, me, please, more let, genetic let me, information. Let me. Okay. So the, more, there was more before the flood, but we have to start from the flood because more those are the only animals that we have to. Okay. Well, we have to start no, from the flood because, no, okay. because hey, insects, hey, guys, insects let, weren't on the ark. Fish can weren't some, on the ark. Can someone, can someone mute him, please? Yeah. Please, oh, okay. I, 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 I don't. Well, you don't yeah. like to yeah. listen to what I'm saying. I believe okay, I've well, given you lots of opportunity for me to listen to you, and I've been trying to get to this question for a significant amount of time, and you've been interrupting. Well, I listen to you said, guys all the time, and and you guys. Know. There you okay. go. I apo I apologize that you were muted. I just want to get to this question. So we start with that ideal archetype that has all of the information or more than we need to get to absolutely everything else. So we start with all the information, everything that we need is there for all the variation that we see today. Now, if your argument is that there is absolutely no way through mutation and natural selection to add to that archetype, that if that genome can never have a mutation that adds information to it, then your argument is the only way to see the variations that we have today within kinds is for information to be lost. That means well, that only through loss can we have variation because your whole argument no, is that nothing no, can no. add it. So will you no. admit that, that information no, can be added the to the genome, genome? The genome is able to turn things on and off all the time. It has a whole so bunch of So information can turn. be added. No. no, no, it's already there. It's just being so turned on and Jim, off. Jim, then your Jim, argument you have is... Well, it seems that you have it's this idea that on and off. off. There's a whole, whole, whole range of things can be hold, turned on and off. Hold on, hold on. Can I? Can I? Uh, I, I just want to clarify. It's. It seems like what you're arguing for, jungle jargon, is that like all the possible genes are already available in the genome, yeah, but I, that there's some sort of that. Off, which is totally, totally false, totally yeah, fallacious. I, yeah, I, but won't, I won't address it. Yes. So yeah, that, you that, you, you don't that that's what you don't arguing. agree that you don't agree that the genome can turn things on and off. That's you're not what wrong. I said. What I, what, what it seems well, like you're arguing. That's what you what's your mounting? That's what it amounts to. No, it, it doesn't actually because uh, what, uh, I mean you can look at atavisms for instance, which is when you turn on these ancient genes that have been turned off, and so you get things like humans with tails or chickens with teeth or things like this. But the what it seems like you're saying is. All the possible, like if we were looking at like the dog, uh, dog kind, and we take this archetypal dog, it has all the variation in it to become a wolf or a fox or a chihuahua or whatever. But that's not true. There would have to be well, increases, uh, or there would have to be changes in genes for that to be true, which which is is certainly not the case. Well, there are changes in genes all the time. When, it, yes. when something adapts to an environment, it adapts to the cold, it adapts to the heat, it adapts to well, high altitude. Right, right, exactly. So, to, right, right. But it's so the if genome it, that does it with existing information so that's already it, there. So if an animal moves to a new environment, say one that it, it used to live in an area that was primarily hot, and it moves to an area or a population moves to an area that's that primarily cold, the time. and they develop coats, is, it happens is all the this... Time. What was the long coat gene already in their genome, according to you? Yes. Or something. Yes. They didn't add it. It didn't, even though they never yes, lived in a cold environment it's before. Different, it's a different amount of the same thing. It's a different amount of the same thing. Okay, but is that is how is that not new but, information? Because you're adding to this this uh, hair genome because or this, the it hair was genome. already there. So why do you think it that's different from that evolution? Different. Can, I, can, I quickly, can I quickly make a point? There's varying amounts of what's already there. Can I quickly make a point? What Jungle Jargo wants us to do is to give an example of a completely new gene or maybe a whole genome section out of nothing. And that is not evolution, that is creationism. That's imagination, right? And that's exactly. what we see. I mean, yeah, exactly. So all, we all, see different all, all different animals all have... Can I can I ask a sing, can I ask a single question? Well, I, I think uh, uh, Nisligus, well, Nisligus had some some points he's wanted to raise for a little while, so I'll let him okay. uh, do that. Yeah, uh, a, lot, a lot of points made about the uh, cheetahs. Like he is saying that the, the cheetahs were starting out with a, a very rich genome. 
but that is um, a, yeah, just bullshit because uh, the way we know Cheetos at a bottleneck is how is <laughs> that goes again the alarm. Uh, ah, I'll turn it off. Sorry. No, yeah, no, sorry. I didn't <laughs> say no, didn't. Cheetos had a, a large genome. I said that they were that they no, were rich, it out. rich genome, right? Uh, they, they started with a rich g- genome. Well, in creation, yeah, but they were selected out. Oh, all right, but, but that is can, that cannot be because the like way we know. Hold on, I was I was uh, I was making a point. So please, uh, the, the way we know the cheetahs didn't, uh, had a bottleneck is because the amount of uh, different alleles in a population is very low. Like the, the, they have a very low amount of different alleles, and the and the way. Uh, uh, one individual can only have is only two different alleles. So if the if there were only two cheetahs on the arc, there were only two alleles max at maximum. They can't have more alleles per gene if there was only two cheetahs there. Which is which is a huge bottleneck experience. So they can't have a rich genome, as you said. No, but they can't have a rich genome because no, it could they can't. be all functioning. No, they can't be all functioning. I, a, lo- a large a lot population- of our genome is not functioning. A, lo- a large population can have very different alleles for each gene. For example, a population of 100 can have at maximum 200 different alleles for each gene. But with, with, o- with only two cheetahs on the arc, you can have only four alleles. Ma- that's the maximum amount that you can have, the maximum amount of diversity, of richness of the, uh, of the genome. So no, with, it's not, po- with it's not possible. increased population, what about with increased population? Oh, if, if it creates a new population, then the population will inherit the, the initial allele. So if, the, if there are only two cheetahs on the arc, each having what different alleles. Oh, I, I was answering the, the question. I was, I was answering the, the question. What about the mutations of the large, large uh, population? I was, I was answering the are. questions. I was answering the question. Because so. mutations the, are part of variation. Yeah, I, I was, I was, I was getting there. So please be quiet. Uh, if if the if the uh, if you start only with two cheetahs, and they uh, get children somehow without uh, suffering from severe inbreeding, then the population will inherit only at maximum four different alleles. Then you can have new mutations that will create more alleles, but that will be new okay. information. That that will be new information because now you have more no alleles. Variation. Yeah, no now, now, now you have more alleles that weren't there before, so new information. It's a new variation of the same thing that was already there. Yeah, new new information, which are, yeah, exactly. No, but what was already there? Which is exactly still still what? still new, still still new information because the the new the new alleles no, the new alleles it's change in amounts of what's already there. Yeah, Mr. Jungle, uh, if you start with f- only four alleles. And you end up with like a hundred new alleles that, that didn't exist before. Those alleles are new, right? They didn't exist before. They they are variations of what was already there but, before. But, it, but they didn't they didn't exist before, right? Well, what you need for evolution is programming that's not there. I don't know. I, I it's actually a yes or no need, question. Actually, were actually, they actually already there? Were the alleles yeah. already there? The alleles are already there. What you need is information that's not there for something to become something else. Oh, yeah, uh, he, 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 he's not going to answer the question. Okay. So I, I, will, I will move on to my second point about the uh, the chimp and human comparison. I put up this paper which says the, the chimp and se- genome sequence is a long-awaited milestone providing opportunities to explore primate evolution and genetic contributions to human physiology and disease. Humans and chimpanzees share a common ancestor about five to seven million years ago. The difference between the two genomes is actually not 1%, but 4%, comprising uh, 35 million single nucleotide differences and 90 uh, million base pairs of insertions and deletions. Notice the second part. The second part, the insertions and deletions, they at first ignore it because it's difficult to compare the, the insertions and deletions between the two, two genomes. So at first, they, they excluded that. That's why they got the 1% difference. And so now, so we are 99% identical based on only on single 
nucleotide differences. But when we include the insertions and deletions, now it's 4%. Which is a lot of information. Yeah, 4%. So, so we are... Na we are that's a we lot are more than that. And so we are 96 percent identical which is a lot of difference a lot of information that's different I and mean, so if you four, consider four, that four, four, four percent uh, compared to a uh, four percent compared to one percent so it's not it's not a huge but difference they, they were comparing uh, uh, part of the genome that codes for protein and they were comparing only that yeah and, and so if you, if you if you want to argue differences is not then, just what what codes for protein? There's a lot of genome yeah, that doesn't code for protein. Yeah, they they, they included weren't, they, they weren't comparing that. They did, but they included included those here too. So it's well, it's four it's yeah, four percent. I'm sorry, but but I I find very hard to believe anything they put put forth because since they're being so deceptive about it. Well, what are they being deceptive about oh, specifically? Oh, oh, oh. Well, now, now, now is he just making a, 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 a conspiracy? The comparison of information. Ninety-nine percent. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Weren't you just saying you you were accepting a YouTube video earlier, but you won't accept a technical paper yeah. because it disagrees with you? Uh, he, he's now no, he's now trying. No, I'm he's saying not, that he's now making up. Is a lot of information. He's now making up. He's now making up a conspiracy. He's now making up a conspiracy. He's now making up a conspiracy to deny a point. So let's move on to the second. To another point I want to make. Let's see here. Four percent is a lot of information. That's not yeah, there. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more than a lot more than that. Point. Repeat the same point. Yeah, okay, well, let's move yeah, on. Yeah, because you don't seem to be getting it. All right, I I have here two examples uh, uh, of two uh, DNA strands. Which of these? have more information, or how much information does each uh, sequence contain? Jungle? How much information? Yeah, how much well, information? It's kind, of repetitive. it's kind of repetitive, isn't it? No, it's not repetitive. It's, 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 it's uh, just a sequence. Yeah, the sequence it looks kind of repetitive to me. Uh, how, uh, how, do you, how do you know it's repetitive? I see a lot of GACs. Yeah, well, it, it, that's, yeah. that's normal. <laughs> that's normal. Do, do you, you know, know there's only four possible letters. Yeah, do you, know, do, do you know there's only four? Do you know there's only four base pairs? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Make a point. Make a point. Yeah, I, I, that's, that's my point. Which one of these has more information? And how, and how do you know that? Um... I don't know if the if the first if the longer one repeats itself, then uh, the first one has more information. The first one. It doesn't matter. I will make a point. I'm waiting. Uh, uh, which which one of these has more information? I said I don't know. Go ahead. Well, if you don't know what what is information, if if you can't determine. Which one has more information, and what what does information even well, mean? Well, that's because it's being read forwards and backwards on both sides and overlapping. So, what what else do you want to know? Depends that's how you reading not, that's it. Not, that doesn't answer my question. So, well, it depends how you're reading it. What's your point? Go ahead and make your point. Uh, well, my my point is if you can't answer the question, what is information? No, 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 no. Are... Make a make a make a point. Make I make. Point. I am making a point. If you can't answer the question, what is information? Then the uh, your argument about information is completely vacuous. No, well, it, you can, I could take a section of DNA too and show it to you, and you wouldn't know what it said either. Yeah, right. So but go ahead. Because, make, because, make, because make a I, valid. I'm not, make I'm a not, valid point. Make a valid I, point. Because I'm not the one who is saying about information about how much information something has. So. It, do, it doesn't work backwards. You can't you can't revert the question backwards. Because I am not yes, the one. It's it's read forwards backwards on both sides and overlapping. So mm, yeah. what else? No, you, you you're not get, you're not getting it. What else you want to know? Oh my gracious! Yeah. So so, <laughs> so he so he cannot so we have established that he cannot answer the question what the information is. So it's a complete. I could do the mood. same thing to you. I can no, do the you, same no, thing. No, you can't. You, you can't. I can show you sections of uh, you can't, you DNA. Can't. You wouldn't be able to tell me. You can't because Jungle. I'm I'm not the one arguing. You for wouldn't be able to tell me if it meant anything either. So Jungle go ahead, jargon. Make a point. Jungle jargon. 
you can't apply this question back to us because we are not making an argument of information content. You yeah. are. We you are, are not. We are not sharing in the position that you have that there is some no, unspecified amount of information in the genome. Your position we, is that you're adding information that's not there magically, and you have no way of getting the information. If you can't, if you can't define there. what information is, then yes. we're not adding information. Well, it's and whether you can understand it or not doesn't mean it's not information. You have yet to if we, if we <laughs> can't understand it, and you and I could that's speak, that's I could be speaking, heard. I could be speaking Portuguese to you, and you wouldn't understand a word I was saying. It doesn't so mean it's not information. information. We, 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 we can't define Portuguese. Okay, you Zullen wij dan even een tijdje Nederlands gaan praten en dan kijken of hij ons verstaat? I refuse to accept that as information. That's not information. Bullshit. Okay, jungle jargon. You understand the problem here isn't the language it's presented in, but the but the information content of the argument, well, it's right? A command. The genome is a literal command that makes you what you are. It's yeah, a literal but you, but, you, but, you, but you can't but you can't, can't define information. Uh, start stutter you're starting stuttering now, aren't you? No. <laughs> can, <laughs> I think that's more Jackson, can I can I ask a question completely completely different from this because we're we're not getting anywhere? Yeah, uh, sure. Go ahead. Well, well, well uh, to make a final point, we have established that you cannot define information, so let's move on. Okay. Yeah, of course you go can. Ahead. Yeah. <coughs> no, you okay. okay. Let's. Oh, 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 okay, of course Peter, you would understand the information. Jungle jargon. Let's let's get to some information then. Um, you're a creationist, right? Everything was has a given genome. Yeah, I'm Every asking you. I'm genome. asking you. Are you a creationist? That's a simple yes. Well, or no that has, that's what creationist is, isn't it? I'm giving you the definition of a creationist. Okay, is that a yes? Everything. Everything was given the given genome that it has. Do you kind, think? Whatever kind do you is. do you think that your particular God created everything? Yes or no? There's only one particular maker of everything there is. Uh, yeah. So that's a yes. Yes. Take take it as a yes because he can't answer a straight. Yeah. Only, he's he's afraid. He's what? afraid. He's afraid to answer. But there is only we'll, one with we'll infinite regress. We'll try. We'll try. We'll try we'll anyway. Listen to the answer. We'll try. Listen to the answer. No, There's I'm only, not listening to the answer to because the, you, oh, don't you don't want to listen. Answer. You don't want I'll to listen. You, infinite I'll regress you, goes back to only one. I'll ask you a second question. Um, where do you get your creation science from? Can you give us your source? Is it answers in Genesis? Science, is it is is it science is, it, is what you can know? Science is what you can know, and whatever information I can get from anywhere, I can know something. I can you know didn't it. hear. No. You didn't hear. You it didn't doesn't hear matter. It no, doesn't matter the source. My, if I can know it, if I can understand my, it. Did you hear my fine. question? Did you hear my question? Did you hear my answer? I have a question Where? for everyone in this conversation. It is uh, how lo how much longer do we want to go on? Uh, I just had a stroke, Jackson, so let's Jackson, end it. Jackson, We've been Jackson, at this please, for. Jackson, I'm sorry, Peter. Let, let me let me make this point. Okay. Because he'll 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 run away from it anyway because he doesn't have an answer. Um. Where can I go to get the best creation science? Is there a place I can go? Is there a website I can go? Um, you have to you have to use your own mind and and do your own research. I, I always use my own mind. And learn what, what I'm asking you. As what much I'm information you as you can from where wherever you, you can get the information. Where, that's where what we do, do. Where do I get the best information when it comes to creationism? Is it answers in Genesis? Is it the Institute for Creation Research? Is it uh, CMI in Canada? Where do I go for the best creation research? I, I get my information from secular scientists' websites. Okay. And I okay. analyze it myself. And I, okay, I, so, I can, so, uh, so what you're make saying my is, own conclusions so about wait physics. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What you're, you're saying is, what you're saying is that creationists don't do science or 
cannot do science? Is that what you're saying? I'm saying that secular science websites don't do the real science as far as origins or... or okay, so, origin. so now you're saying you're going you to secular to do science... It. You have to figure it out for yourself. ...who don't do science. What I was asking you is where do you get the real science, the creation science from? Well, the creation science is not different than any other science. Science is what you can know. If you can know it for no. a fact, it's science. Please stop you know. saying that. It. Please stop no, saying that. If you can know it for a fact, it's science. But you how do you know? Either you know it or you don't know it. Oh, gracious. That's what science is. Okay. So that is not what science answer. is. Science is the methodology. Please stop saying that. That is not what science is. Science no. is the methodology. Answer. <clears throat> it's a methodology jargon. for what? Answer. It's a methodology jargon. for jargon. knowing. Jargon. Jungle the methodology jargon. for knowing what the facts are. Jungle okay. jargon, answer me the last question. So you cannot come up with a qualified creation science source. So what you're basically saying is that creationists are too stupid to do I, science. That, oh I, God, do not, I do not rely on creation science websites. I do not rely on them. In fact, so I don't even... Why haven't, with him all and, the time. why haven't you creationists come up with any science about Noah's Ark? Why haven't you come up with the number of species that were on the Ark? The number of you know kinds that were on the Ark? The number of kinds that were on the Ark Why don't Why don't you guys start doing research on that so you can Do give you us know? answers? So you can give us you the know? answers we've asked you several okay. times. I'm what giving you an answer right on, now. Do you know what the, the science of... What kinds were on the, the ark? What mechanism did God use to create kinds in the first place? How did God create DNA? By his word. Why don't, his why word. don't creationists focus on that? By his word. What, he made what is biology the with why, written why, commands. With written commands. It's biology... Is, my, quest, my question Peter, wasn't my question wasn't for you to give silly assertions. My question was, why don't creationists come up with real science that explains all of this, that tells us you how many kinds, listen, that tells us how many listen. kinds? You're talking over me again. That tells us listen. how many kinds there were on the ark and which specific kinds. Because no creationist can answer this question. Not a well, single we don't one. Have and you can't and you can't the, either. All the information. And according to you, you have because knowledge. Because scientists you have knowledge pick creationists. Yes, 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 one at a time. One at a time. So... Because start, we get kicked out of science. Us, this is the exact start, opposite of what I just said. This is not one at a time. Okay. So, <laughs> Peter, finish your question, then let Jungle answer. Yes, I, it's it's difficult because I don't think that he heard the, first, you're not the listening. first part. No, I'm not listening because I'm still asking you a question and you keep talking because over you me. Don't so you don't listen. So you hey, guys, don't guys, again. Guys. Oh my gosh, this is frustrating. Yeah. Okay, you, so you don't I'm going to do this listen. conversation until my time, 5.45, which is in... About I, I I think we're pretty much done already, Jackson. I mean, if 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 he's if he's <laughs> even see, too dishonest, if he's even I'm too I'm willing to listen and I won't talk question. over you because okay. I I can't take any more of the people both yelling at each other at the same okay, time. Okay, let's just let Jungle Jargon get his thoughts out there. Okay, the science of Noah's Ark is geology. Geology is the science of the global flood. Geology is the result of the global flood. It's all there for you to see. It's 100 million cubic miles, with a mile deep over around the whole world on every continent with fossils, examples of everything that was living at the time of the global flood where everything got buried in consecutive layers of water deposited sediment, one after the other. All of which was explained by science already. No. How? Jungle jargon. I've asked you for a source for that claim oh. in, in before, no, and you never presented no, me with a source for no, the claim that you there have is. You have to come up with evidence to the contrary. 
Because uh, no, I already no, did no, my no, 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 no. I already did no, my research. No, you no, Jungle Dragon, you are making a positive claim regarding the existence of this flood layer, which if it does exist, that, and I'm willing to grant you, if it does exist, then you need to present evidence for it. The fault well, position, the default position here is that, it? what? Why can't you find it? Because it doesn't exist, because the global flood never happened. No, the information does exist. It's just not being shared with you because they don't want you to Have know you... about the evidence of the global flood. No, so, it's not. We want no, no. There's there's no conspiracy. It's over 100 million cubic miles. So there is, no, ev so there is no evidence because conspiracy. There is no evidence because conspiracy. Okay. It's, it's, right. even, it's, it's even worse. We asked him to provide evidence and he won't provide evidence. So the conspiracy no, is on, on the side of the creationists. Enough on the side of the creationists because they don't want to share their evidence. We have asked we have you several times. We have asked you several times. Don't talk over me. We have asked you several times to present your evidence. And all you do is make assertions. Geology. You come, you Geology don't come. is the evidence. Yeah, Geology is, a, is not, is is not an, an answer to anything. Geology an is the evidence of the global flood. An, is an assertion now what's your evidence to back it up no okay guys guys 100 million cubic miles of geology guys okay that is did a I good die? Okay. Am I that in is, hell? That guys, is a good point yes. to end this please end yes. this please. Uh, okay yes I okay Jackson, I, I think Jackson, it's from Jackson. Jackson, no, no, Peter, one, one, Peter, fine, Peter. one fine, one one final Peter, question. I want him, Peter, I want him to send me no. one. No, 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 Thank you, everyone, for being here. I uh, enjoyed the conversation. Thanks I enjoyed everyone in the live chat. Monday. So, okay, well, I'm going to end the stream. Thanks, everybody. Have a nice day.